And it's Wednesday! Welcome to Wednesday, everybody. Uh, let's make sure that our volumes... Check, check, check! Check. Because we have a new setup, and yeah, you it's can't brand tell. New. <laughs> I, yeah, it makes no difference. The background's the same, but James All the is... things we're seeing in front of us are like... It's totally new. I, I will give a studio tour. Yeah. At some point. Um, maybe not today. Yeah, maybe later there's today. There's some we'll holes see. in the wall. Yeah, there's small some holes. Small holes, but like there's holes. Sounds good, everyone says. Excellent. Um, yeah, everything should be the same. I had to wire everything back up. Um, I've got a whole wall of consoles through the ages now. Oh, it's insane. It's, yeah, it's, it's insane. It's from, you know, Atari up to, well, eventually I'll bring down like all the newest stuff's upstairs because we play the PS4 yeah. on the regular. But I've got, uh, you know, PS3 upstairs and a Wii and an Xbox 360. So all of the consoles and they're all accessible now, which is really, really nice. James's Our... electronic organization is a <laughs> 10 out of 10. I cat sat at one point and it was, I'm pretty savvy when it comes to electronics and I struggled to figure out all of the systems that James has. It was <laughs> it's like, a lot. and it's like, yeah. it's unilaterally across the board to, down to security. Like there's just so much, <laughs> there, there, it's, oh, it's a yeah. great, it's a really great house. But anyways. Um, and, and, uh, and also the Japanese counterparts of the systems, oh, of the it's... different systems. You know, like the Famicoms and um, the uh, Turbo Graphics 16 equivalents. Uh, oh, now I've forgotten the name of it. Always on the spot when I'm trying to do a show. Yeah. The pressure. Uh, it's okay. You've anyway. got lots of cool shit. That's Welcome the... to Zero Page Homebrew Wednesday edition. We've got Erlen. We've got myself, yeah. James. We've got our names above our heads. We've got cats that got... might jump in and out. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, we've got the, the cameras are a little bit different. You'll see our eye line is a little bit to the left. It might be like yeah. not that different for you, it's but it's not a big it's deal. big different for us because we'll be looking in like a, a bunch of different places yeah. than normal, and we'll get used to it. You get Stockholm syndrome everywhere <laughs> you are. You're like, why wasn't this the way it always uh, was? Yes, but... change is bad, and we are playing on a hu much bigger screen yeah. now. Um, so the eye line's a little bit up a bit, but not too bad. Yeah, nothing, nothing huge, but. So this is where we play new games on classic consoles at 60 frames a second. So if you're not watching at 60 frames a second, make sure you click 60 frames because you're missing half the action, literally. Yeah, it's, I, I, I looked at it at one point on YouTube and I was like, what is wrong? Oh, <laughs> 60. It's, it, yeah. it makes a difference. At 30, like the Atari 2600 uses tricks and uses all 60 frames a second. It alternates back and forth. Yeah. So if you're getting 30, you're only getting one of the alterate alternations, and you're like missing characters on the screen. Like, yeah, it almost feels like watching like an interlaced image where you only see <laughs> half of the interlaced. So you're uh -huh. just you're, you're you're even on Nintendo too. Um, that like when I when I was gonna do this show a long time ago, I I was watching other people's streams, and when there's like flicker and slow down on Nintendo and they're like there's too many characters on the one line on yeah. the NES not Nintendo Nintendo's a company the NES <laughs> <laughs> I knew what people, you meant but no that's yeah. a good clarification because yeah. it's true um, when you have too many characters on the line just like the Atari 2600 you have to start doubling up and flickering them back and forth and people who are filming at 30 frames a second this it starts missing those oh yeah and I'm like I will never do that on my show and I had to make sure I had all the right equipment when I did the, when I set up this show to make sure it was 60 frames a second outputting from the 2600. Which is weird because like in the world that we're from film, 60 is never a standard <laughs> that you would use for really anything other no. than maybe slow motion. Slow motion. But even then, you would probably use something higher, or, like or lower, depending on what you want to do. Yeah, so sixty's not really that slow. It's kind of slow. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not a standard that's really used. But I guess in gaming, it's it's everything. It's huge. Even yeah, that's in like, like the first standard is sixty in gaming. Yeah, and now it's they're pushing it higher and higher as much as they can. But it's very expensive to buy the video card and the monitors that all work and with one twenty. Trying to do sixty on like an online game, like good luck. Yeah, no, <laughs> Good it's, luck. it's a lot of information going all over the place. Um, but in, in film, it's the standard is actually 
24. Yeah. For the longest time. Before that, it was like, however fast Let's you were cranking the... Roll the cranking. friggin' <laughs> old-timey camera with, like, the hood. And yeah. Like, <laughs> and then um, Peter Jackson tried 48. Yeah. With, and everybody was like, it looks like a soap opera. Which, because to our eyes, that's... Because television is 30. People are yeah. used to 30. And he pushed it even further than 30 to 48. And people are like, oh, this is... This is weird looking. It looks like a soap opera. But you don't get the motion blur. And it's so clean and precise. Yeah. And it's... I, I almost... I wish people could see it. Like, I watched it too. And I'm like, no, nah, this looks like a... Yeah. It looks like a play to me. Well, it actually, it looks like real life. I think that the movie wasn't that good. And that was also part of the problem too. It That's was a like, big problem, yeah. It was like a 200-page book that was stretched to like nine hours. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's like the end of the first movie. It's like, we're maybe going to go see the dragon. <laughs> I'm like, like uh, what am I, what did I sign up for? Yeah. Two hours and no dragon. There's like one thing that happens uh, in that book. It's like yeah. they go to a dragon and they steal some shit. Like, that's, <sighs> the, that's the story, guys. Let's get back to the games. Okay. Um, so we're right, playing four sure. games today. Very awesome games. First one is Tower of Rubble. Yeah. Now, people are saying, Tower of Rubble? You just played that game the other day. Oh, wow. This is another person making Tower of Rubble. You didn't play Tower of Rubble. But uh, we played it a couple days ago. And he said we talked about that movie just yesterday. Oh, did you? As in like, we, on the, oh yeah, you It's because, fan. well, we'll go back to it for just a sec. Okay. It's because expectations were so high is insane because of the previous three films lord of the rings which were so good amazing like watch them again today perfect they're amazing films they it's 10 years later or because of more. the story yeah it's the story is so and, good uh, yeah and the adaption anyway um tower of rubble well, yes this one is by mk smith but we'll get into that this is yeah. a the third adaption of this game third ish two and a half <laughs> um but what is it about tower of rubble is this a, is that an original game that was produced or is this, like it, was, it must be a title of some kind it was made on the pc first and then a commodore 64 port was made of it and then um and then i saw the commodore 64 port and i told dianoid about it and dianoid made a kind of demo version of it uh, because i saw it and went oh my god that is that would make a perfect 2600 game. It's not too complex. Looks like a ton of fun. And he said, yeah, I'll do that for sure. And then another, then another person came out with, um, what, what is it? Uh, well, we'll get to that. I can't um, remember the name of it, yeah. but, but it was kind of the same, but it wasn't Tower of Rubble. It was his own version of it. Um, um, and then this person was working on Tower of Rubble at the same time before, it had been announced that Dianoid was working on it, um, and it's and it is another port of Tower of Rubble. Jeez, I'm excited to see this Tower of Rubble to find out like what <laughs> why what, what is warrants. it so attractive? Yeah, it's like you'll see. I think about like the the twenty Pac Man games we played. I mean, I, yes. I get it, Pac Man, but like like the most well known video game in the world. With, and oh. all and like what was like a, what do you call them console or co uh, what is arcade it? Arcade cabinet. There, yeah. It was an arcade cabinet, yeah. and every, even the sounds were iconic. Tower of Rubble. <laughs> why? 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 Well, I'm just excited. We'll find yeah. out what this game is like. Uh, second one is Marble Craze, which is a trackball hack. Oh, that's um, cool. I like trackball. This is the one that had not been released on cartridge. Is the only one that hadn't been. Um, there's another one that just got posted today, oh. um, but it's not trackball. It's all the other controls. Are it's we mouse. doing trackball? No, just going back once. Okay. Once one trackball game today, and okay, then cool. maybe the other one on Friday, or yeah, probably I fit in Friday because we're doing other things next week. Yeah, it's got. We're doing all the uh, awards nominees. Oh, so yeah, next, next week's week. gonna be a big one. Then. Yeah, that's gonna be a big one. Um. And then we're playing Color Gotcha, which is a port of an arcade game. Um, and then we're playing Bit Quest 2 by Metal Babble. Which it's is an a, adventure game. Oh, dude, I'm in. I'm <laughs> so in. Yeah, you're going to like it. One, one thing that I wanted to say, um, this will bring it back to sort of homebrew stuff, but yeah. it is a little bit of a tangent, which is yes. just one of the amazing parts about something like Lord of the Rings is that all that mythology 
is something that we look at. Like, you think about right. games. Like, you think about elves and dwarves and yes. warriors and mages and rogues and all this stuff. Yeah. Like, I bet you, I guarantee you, I don't know anything about Big Quest 2, but there will be something that it stole <laughs> from Tolkien that Tolkien originally did. Like, that's the amazing He's part. He's the source of, of so much mythology yes. in that realm. I mean, there's Greek mythology, but this... It was a totally different style. And like hobbits a, and like, and just an, an yeah. interrelation between all this stuff and like this idea of like, I'm sure that there will work before Tolkien, but really he I... solidified it. He yeah. fleshed them out a bit more and, and, then, and gave it a backstory and lore to it rather than, oh, it's an elf. Yeah. And, it's like you a, know, they go around and cause mischief or whatever, right? So it's, it's it one, I think what, why we also really love those movies is because they're also like the origins of so much pop culture. It's kind of like, and it, yes, to, pop, and it brings it back to the origins and then it's like, oh, I know this that's so where well. where this came from. Oh, this yes. is these ideas. And that's a really exciting thing, I think. And um, you and, could probably see the cats a bit more now that there's um, actually the webcam is way higher up. So it has oh, yeah. a bit much bigger field of view. So you'll, you'll be seeing... Much more. There's there's Pixel wandering yeah, around. Yeah, Pixel's just hanging it's out. More, you... of a, more of a cat cam now. <laughs> yeah, this is truly a cat cam, which is great. Yeah. Oh, you can see the legs of the chair. Uh, it's a lot of mess, but okay. Oh, we'll figure we'll it work out. On it's it. part of the refinement process of everything that we're doing here. Yeah. So I want to thank thank everybody who's in the chat today and who are, are subscribing as well. Uh, Thrust twenty six ground trooper. Uh, that's anybody who's talked today. So. <laughs> <laughs> today well, might welcome. be a slow day, but I might don't be. care, man. As long yeah. as as long as, long as, as you somebody out here. there watching and we're having fun. Yeah. And I want to thank our Twitch, Twitch subscribers, Charles and Check, Gretams, Ground Trooper, who just re resubscribed today. Oh, thanks, Ground Trooper. Ice Boasted, Jeffrey twenty one twenty three, Johnny WC twenty three, Mister Fix, Muddy Funster, RC. Shazam1970, who's a new subscriber. Thank you very He's much. He's probably really good at figuring out songs when you hit play. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's still a thing? Shazam? Well, that's that's the app. Yeah. yeah. It's... Uh, Tiki Dan K and Train Tech 86 thank you for subscribing and supporting the show. And you can also do it for free if you uh, click on subscribe and you are a um, Amazon Prime subscriber and you've linked it to your twitch dude that guy's worth like 60 billion dollars or something i remember i was he's worth a lot of he's money. he's i think he, he's the he richest right. man in the world i, I believe or, or one of he's up there i don't think he's i don't know if he's the richest but he's up he's enough even yeah. with his divorce he has more than enough money yeah it's like oh no he only has half of infinite money yeah like <laughs> i don't know like oh multiple billions of dollars so, i think the thing is with when you lose that chunk of money you're not able to do these huge projects that's you know, a like good elon point. musk wants to do all this stuff and he wouldn't be able to do it if he wasn't a billionaire that's a great he point he wouldn't be able to send things into space start a car company on his own yeah like... make tunnels underneath cities like it's impossible without billions of dollars because nobody would do it otherwise nobody would finance him to do all these things it'd be like you're crazy you're going up against huge car companies and stuff anyway this is nothing about games <laughs> we <laughs> go off a, ta on a tangent show <laughs> today just watch the c64 version lots of stuff going on there but still okay for the 2600 what's the c64 i should <clears throat> learn these things yes it's commodore 64 yes okay i know that yeah which was a um a computer home computer system mostly used for games so it's most a game console. I'm so happy. I like when I was a teenager. I watched all these angry video game nerd <laughs> channel. I was yeah. super into that when I was like 15. I'm so happy that that'll that was... teach you. A, he talked about a lot of different consoles, so yeah. it does teach you a lot. And he talks about really weird ones too. This is why, so like, whenever we're safe. doing the show, I'm like, I'm. I, I know that I'm a like, little bit about that. Right? Yeah, I'm like, I remember. It's it's weird that that's my kind of reference. It's it's something really meta about this show in that way, where mm. it's like you know. Oh, and I want to say congratulations on getting over your sickness. Oh, yeah. And you're away and everybody true. missed you last oh, yeah. week. Dude, it was so bad. I was like, I, I had this um, bronchitis. And it was like, that's where we have inflammation of the vocal cords. So I couldn't breathe. Like, it wasn't I couldn't breathe, but it was like, I would take in a breath and like only half of the air would come in. Right. And so I was just out of it. Like, when you can't breathe, you can't do anything. It's just not, you're, not, you're just done. Yeah. It, it I was, mean... 
you probably couldn't talk either. No, it was no talking. <laughs> and then I was like... If you can't breathe, you probably can't talk. I couldn't really move around, so it was a drag, man. I wouldn't have been fun on the show. Even if I came yeah. here, I'd be like... <gasps> yeah, just... You know, all you'd hear is breathing. <gasps> that was basically, like, what I sounded like. It was... But then I missed you guys a lot, actually. It was yeah. sad to not be here. Yeah, when you're doing something every week, and you get used to it, and you enjoy it, and then you don't do it one week, you feel something's wrong. Something's off a bit, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thrust when you can't breathe, you are dead. Mostly. Yes. Or you have to punch holes in your throat, throat and, and stick some tubes crazy down Crazy stuff happens. What, what is it? Three minutes without air, three days without water, three weeks without food? Someone said that to me Roughly, at one point. You can go a lot longer than three minutes without air, but... Yeah. Three minutes without air is a problem. Yeah, it's like... I think it's about... It's like, let's address or, this issue. Five or five to ten for um, you start losing brain um brain 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 function not a fan permanently yeah but people have been like frozen for 20 minutes like without breathing but that's because they're frozen and it slows everything down yeah there's this different yeah so let's get back let's get into the news and feedback um so the atari awards nomination process like the atari awards are coming up um the live show is on february 23rd that's uh, in just over a month. And right now it's going through the nomination process so we can cut down the hundreds of games into bite sizes that you will be able to vote on. And the voting will take place pretty soon. Uh, the voting starts on January 23rd. Wow, yes. And it goes for about three weeks. So that's what's uh, about a week. About a week. Wow. And I think the nomination process wraps up on Sunday, I think. Sunday it's or Monday. It's going to be a blast. Like, that yeah. whole, being part of that whole thing. I know I'm really excited to be part of it because even just... Yeah. I feel like I'm very much like an outsider looking we in on this yeah. kind of thing. I'm starting to get more and more inside it, but it's really exciting that I get to be a part of the community's kind of Sunday, voting and everything. And also seeing that... Just seeing this process unfold and go, like, yeah. people, like, watching these games get whittled down. And I'm really excited to see who or the winners and who yeah, what who's games nominated are, yeah who, the, who what people think are the best of, yeah. of the year of 2018 and you and i played a lot of these games so we know how good they are and yeah it'll be really fun to see what people think about these games and um and yeah um so yeah the new setup we already talked about that so the eye line's going to be a little different playing on a bigger screen which is interesting. That yeah. might, be, but it's further away too, so, so it kind of evens out a bit. Yeah, but the, the, that's the you only, guys can't see it. We had we look a, almost like exactly the same, except for the the webcam there. Yeah, there was something classic about every once in a while you'd lean in, you know, <laughs> you'd have that yeah. that that classic gamer kind of thing oh, where you're just uh, like, uh, uh, especially uh, uh, when you're you you gotta zone in, you're like, oh, I'm losing. So yeah. but, we'll, but it's huge now. There's no yeah, need to lean on. Lean, yeah, lean in. although we might we might do it. We'll see what happens. Um, there was uh, there's new game coming out from Champ Games. Another one. <laughs> Holy. Shit. Shit. Yes, um, it is Avalanche, um, and we have played it, and you and I actually played it. Really? Um, it's that one where it's a bunch of rows of um, rocks, colored blocks that fall from the ceiling, and you're trying to catch it on these platforms, and oh. you're with a paddle, and I, we played a lot of games. I think <laughs> I remember that, yeah. And you have like a stack of five paddles, and if you miss it, you lose one of the paddles. Oh, oh no, you don't lose one of the paddles. Uh, you lose a paddle when you clear a row. So it gets harder and harder. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. That was fun. Um, so we played that on July 11th. Way back. <laughs> so it's kind of a mix of Breakout, <coughs> Breakout and Kaboom. Um, it was originally a black and white arcade game with overlays, color overlays. Oh, jeez. Before they had color That's video hilarious. games, which is funny. Um, and the game, uh, the Atari 2600 game Kaboom was uh, inspired by Avalanche. And uh, the game was programmed in a week uh, by John Champeau back in 2007. And uh, so 12 years later, it'll finally get a release on cartridge. And uh, he has actually, uh, I think... I was about to say 10 years, James. I was like, oh, God, no, no, no. no it is 12. So it's going to be We're 2020 tw and people's heads are going to explode. Oh, God. Um, so Al Yoruso posted recently, here's another homebrew game from Champ Games who made Mappy, Scramble, Super Cobra Arcade, Ladybug. Uh, it's a port of Atari's old arcade game, Avalanche, and we should have this available in cart form sometime this year. 
I don't know what uh, Gretam same same Ireland. She's oh, I sick, think or? she meant. I think she meant that she was excited about um, like the all the Atari Award oh, stuff, the awards, and then yes. maybe empathizing with the fact that she's a little bit maybe outside as well, looking in. Oh, um, right. I don't know. That was my assumption, but I that could be. Sense. I could be wrong. It's all about the timing of when she says it and what we were saying. Yeah, because and... I don't know Gretam's is an involvement in the community, but like um, maybe she's similar to me in some in some regard. Right. Uh, oh, I remember this game. So I'm going to show everybody this game. One second. Um, I have to make sure this is all working. Oh! Oh, that works really well. Okay. Oh, see, I got it right. Greta just said you were correct. I'm an outsider, but excited to see what happens. Oh, this is... Okay. And Thrust said she. Oh, God, did I just... She? Am I wrong? You outed her. Oh, <laughs> No, God. you're not wrong. Uh, so there is... That's a horrible thing to do, by the way. I'm sorry. This is very strange. Okay. <laughs> oh, I see. It's a full screen. And it's the chat from then. Oh. But we're overlaid over top. Okay. It's very confusing. I have to redo this. But anyway, this is this is Avalanche when we were playing it. Um... <laughs> yeah, because I was like, oh, it's got the avalanche thing, and it's like, what is going on? Are you supposed to there? And Spiceware is there. <laughs> like, where are they? Where are they? No, so this is avalanche, um, and and you see the things are dropping from the ceiling. That's oh cool. man, it's kind of cool actually. Anyway, so there we go. There's avalanche uh, when we're playing it. Um, so that's going to be released on cartridge. Thrust 26, no girls on the internet, I am Amy Popsicle. <laughs> oh, this sort of, this is sad. <laughs> you know that, uh, what that reference is? No, I... Fifth uh, Element. I don't, oh, fuck. Oh, have you watched that? Dude, I've seen Fifth Element. Okay. I've seen Fifth Element many, many times. I was ready many, to just destroy times. you. It's, I, it's when they come to his door and his hands are on the wall. Yeah. Negative. Uh, is, is there any humanoids in there? Is anybody in there? And he says, negative, I am a meat Popsicle. Oh, there we it's go. so good. Oh, Fifth Element is one it's of the best sci-fi a... films ever. Yeah. Ever. So is it good. what Luc Besson? Am I Luc wrong? Besson. Okay, he's a crazy he's, director. Yeah, his movies are a mixed bag. And like, is it what his Chris Tucker is in it? Oh, it's, it's got a so great, amazing cast, it's so insane. So and Mila well done. Mila Jovovich's first film, I think, and does an amazing job. Yeah, yeah, I, th I believe it is her first film. One of her one first of films. Her. Way before all those Resident Evil things. Oh yeah, way, 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 way. Stuff. And Thrust is crying. Oh, Because there's Thrust. no girls on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so they, we they got... They are just uh, simulations. We got, a, we got an email. We got a message about uh, about the show. Really? And it's... Uh, I don't know why I got nervous all of a sudden. <laughs> well, <laughs> and it's critical. I'm not going to say the person's name. Okay, good. Um, okay. Um, I need to preface this by saying I don't mean to be a complete douchebag. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm but, so excited for this message. Now I love ready for the but. I love messages. That I'm begin not such that such way. and such, but I'm not racist. But, but now, okay, I gotta not yeah. throw fire on this. Um, but also understand how could how this could be read this way. Do you intentionally not do any prep or research before playing a game <laughs> 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 to present it in an unspoiled live take or something? I've only watched two episodes with my games. Oh, so, no. Okay, so, now I feel... He only watches his own games. That's not okay. the show, which is fine. You know, that's how a lot of people start watching the show. I play their game on the show. We play their game yeah. on the show. They go, oh, kind of cool. This guy was a little thrown off yeah. by our approach to gaming. Um, I've only watched two episodes of my game, so maybe I missed something in an earlier episode. Or maybe I'm just prejudiced because I have a horse in the race. But on both occasions, it felt like not only was the first time you'd played the game... Which is definitely for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with it, uh, it's true. But it's the first time you've actually read through the intro thread. At the very least, it seems like you should know a little more background about the games you play, or at least what controller they use, even if you don't uh, want to play them yeah. before you go on the air. Uh, if I'm way off base here, let me know. Thanks. Um, redacted. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Um, I said, um, this is my, my answer. Um, oh, she was 18 in that film. Uh, thanks for watching the show, and thanks for the feedback. Absolutely. I'm, I'm very diplomatic, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've answered a billion emails in my life. Uh, we, uh, got asked that, we got asked this question a couple times when we first started the show, uh, about a year ago. But uh, people are very now used to and enjoy our different approach to gaming. 
It's a, a good discussion point, and we haven't talked about it in a while. And I'll bring it up in the news and feedback portion of the next show. Yeah, okay. Which cool. is now. Whoa, blowing Bam. my mind. It's happening. <laughs> uh, we love the sense of discovery on the show and really enjoy testing out the intuitiveness of a game when we first turn it on. As my co-host play the game, plays the game, I will go through the instructions and we'll figure out the game together. Absolutely. It's a lot of fun and we get a lot out of it. Out of it. I actually do a lot of research into the games. Um, uh, what other games that a developer has made before? I have pages of notes on the history of the development of the game, when it was first released, when the current build was released. I also have a complete archive of each build that was made of the game. Also, if a port of an arcade game, I show the footage of the arcade game and read some history on that. If it's an update to an old VCS game, uh, we will also briefly play the original version, able to contrast and compare. Our unorthodox presentation style usually throws off first-time viewers, as they may be used to other channels as they breeze through the game knowing every Easter egg, hint, right. and secret level in the game. But we tend to land on the side of what the average homebrew enthusiast might experience when they first put in the game. Absolutely. Also, some people may not be used to a live presentation of the game and are used to watching highly edited reviews of the game. But we're a lot like, I'm talking homebrew, I'm not talking in general no, games. No, yeah, no, exactly. Because there's very, very few live homebrew game sh um, streaming shows. There's lots of reviews of homebrew games, but we're like one of the only on the internet that plays Atari 2600 homebrew games. Uh, anyway, and but there's lots of live streams of modern games. Um, modern console games. Uh, but we're a live show that interacts with the viewers live on stream. Oh, Thrust is about to guess a name. <laughs> <laughs> um, it may not be for everyone, but we're more about having fun on the show. Um, and then there's stuff that would definitely give away who he is. Yeah, which is no good, because I don't want... I, and I know so I... that's the end of my kind of um, say on that. And um, so what do you think about our approach to um, uh, the gaming rather than, you know, practicing a lot and then just going on and just... It's totally, it's up, it just depends on the approach to what people want to do. I know myself, what I try to bring to the show as like um, a kind of third party person is someone who knows nothing. Mm -hmm. And also someone who's not, it's funny, like we, I'm not really even invested in, in some of the stuff that other people are. Like I remember right. we, we played like this, like last time I was on the show, we played like a Star Wars game. And I remember at the end of the show, yeah. I said like, Actually, that wasn't my favorite game. And you're like, no, that was my... But it's because I don't have any real... like. There's no nostalgia. You don't have a dog in the race. No. Right? So like, I, I like to, what I try to offer by being here is just to sort of... Sh there's this person who knows nothing and like try to fumble through it. Because I think there's something... Yeah, you have no attachment. You have no... Like, oh, I love this when I was a kid. Yeah. No, you're fresh. Fresh perspective on it. And I love that. And it's, it's interesting, though, because like in my uh, like spare time like the games that i play are very complicated very long games that i'm an expert in so like part yes. of the fun part about coming on the show <laughs> is to discover new things and i think that sense of discovery is really yeah. fun but i can understand the dude's perspective where like or yeah. chick's perspective where yeah. like if they they feel like their game is not being represented in the way that they want right. to right they they want they possibly or because he's coming from a developer's perspective he wants to really sh the game to shine and, and like, this is how it's played really well and he's made it to level 22 and and this might be his know. only frankly because of the yes. homebrew community it's like that big yeah and it depends and i know yeah. some games if depending on if we're frustrated by them or something we yeah. might like if we're if, if a game's working we'll play it a bit longer naturally because yeah. it's just how it goes and, and if it's fun and it's like really engaged and it's like oh we is, oh, we're discovering new things as we get better, yeah. And, and you do hit a threshold with a game, I think, where like um, if you're really good at it, you'll want to play it more. But some games are almost like they're in that awkward zone, which don't, and it's not that the game doesn't work, but it doesn't necessarily work for the show, where like yeah, we're the at a... format. Yeah, well, we're possibly. like, okay, we need to be better at this game to play yeah. it longer. We got another three games we got to get through today. Yes. Let's... And, and, and we do revisit games, and if we feel the necessity that it needs more time especially adventure games oh yeah it's like well we can't finish this in a quarter of the show or a third of the show and we want to explore it or even finish it we want yeah. to like complete it uh, or it's like yeah we just didn't give it enough 
um, yeah. to, to showcase it or we just love the game and we want to play it more and or if they do an update or, or whatever like that. And I, I've seen other streams, I think it's Cinemassacre, where the guy, he used to do this. I think he's a bit, bit, bit more forgiving. Um, but usually he only plays games he's really good at. Yeah. And he actually apologizes. It's Mike Matei. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, he apologizes <laughs> when he has never played the game before. He's like, oh, I suck at this. I'm really sorry. I'm not playing my best. And it's like, it's a totally different approach totally. to gaming. And it's fine. And, I... and it's actually great that they can show off like the perfect run or they're super good at it and i think but that's not the approach i wanted to take with the show and i wanted to really go with it like the person that would be playing it like i said in the message if they just popped it in and and also there's another thing there's a nostalgic factor for me because when i played atari 2600 games and commodore 64 games back in the 80s we didn't have a lot of instructions. They were thrown away. These games were rented. They didn't come with instructions. They were pirated um, <laughs> on the Commodore 64. Yeah. And so they did not... I had no instructions. And that's how I always played games. Uh, and to this day, even if I buy a game, I'd never read the instructions. Well, yeah, I just want to just go for it. I just want to jump in. And then later, maybe I'll read the instructions. Like, we do read the instructions on the show. At, oh yeah uh, like and we try to figure it out but that's that's also like part partly the content as well is that yeah. you know I, from my background of, of writing i know that there's always something special about the first time like mm. if you're wanting to go and write a scene in a movie one quick way to make it fun is to go this is the first time someone's rid up rode in a bike this is the first time someone's been yes. on, a, on an escalator this, you look, make throw it an experience anything. not only for the audience make it an experience for the character this is the this is the first time they've ever had to public speak like whatever yes. the thing is the, and it makes it there's something inherently dramatic about watching someone try to figure something yes. out and it's exciting like we want to take that excitement of something fresh and new and translate it to the audience too. Like if you can feel the excitement as we discover it. If we're playing this game for the two hundredth time and we're experts, we're not going to go, "Oh wow, that's look at the secret. Yeah. That's so cool." And I discovered it on my own. It'd be like, "There's a secret over here. There's, There's a secret the over there. Boom, boom. This is how you jump." It's like that. I don't find that as exciting as a broadcaster. Maybe as an audience member, it's it's more interesting. But for me, the sense of discovery do it. Finding things out in the show is really, really, really cool. Yeah, like my favorite moments on Homebrew, like on sorry, on Zero Page Homebrew, have been the moments where like we're trying to figure something out, like a puzzle <laughs> game, and yeah. we like have been working it, and then we finally f- comes together. And that's also the classic gaming thing. Like I remember like that's... getting freaking Castlevania, like yeah. Simon's Quest with my sister, and like trying to like be like, what is this orb? Like what is this? <laughs> you know? And, and what like what do you do with and, this? And thing? spending a whole weekend and eventually like just deciding to play outside because we've been running around in circles all day you yeah know? is but but yeah the other thing that's that's important to say too is that like i don't do any prep for the show i just show up and, and yeah. do it but james does and i don't lot. want i don't even tell him what games were no i don't he knows nothing i do a ton of prep because these are highly curated shows that's what like I was... even the order of the games are very highly curated so we start with a bang end with a bang there's a certain up and down to the, oh, yeah. the games i have to fit in games that are quick some that are long works have... in progress so things that i have to like... kind of get a good sense of the game but i don't want to play the game before i put it on the show some i have to because i have to test out and make sure it's going to work on the equipment yeah. and i give feedback to developers it's like oh this is going to jump on uh digital hardware like you don't have the line count steady on at 262 yeah. or whatever the line count is and um actually one of these games uh, is like that they actually went back fixed it and now we're actually playing it on today's show because he fixed it yeah. two days ago it's it's amazing. It's also um, but what I wanted to say too is yeah. like what you guys don't see is like behind the scenes, you know, like when me and James are mm. not on camera. When you know, like often when a show mm. ends, James will go like, "Oh, that wasn't as good," and not is in the games, For but us. is in like, "Oh, I wish I would have curated it a little bit better." Or yeah, like we always have a little bit of a discussion afterwards about how the show went, and it's kind of like, and I know James really beats himself up 
sometimes because yeah. he wishes that he could have kind of put things in a different order or figured out a way to do it or like or we stayed too long on this game or we didn't give this game too much time or we needed more time for this game so we had too many games on a show so or that would have been maybe a better game for like darcy or tanya yeah like, like oh i wish or like or sometimes like oh this show we this game we played last week would have been a good one for you to play yeah because um, each person has their own like you love adventure games yeah, so, so i always I'm, put the I'm adventure in. games with erlin so like there's a lot of we're giving a lot of secrets away here but whatever a lot of behind the scenes that stuff that goes on <clears throat> to make a perfectly smooth game a uh, show yeah. that is interesting ah! <laughs> for everyone out there <laughs> but the but to bring it all kind of full circle i yeah. understand um this guy like kind of wishing that his game was represented better because or of differently or differently man not better <laughs> but, of, but, yeah, of, differently. but of course because like, like you know you you put it like in all these hours trying to yeah. make this game and you want that because this i know this might be one of the pl only places that you get to see, yes. have your game played live and you're like man That's true but you have to remember, too, that, like, um, and this is just, like, I don't want to be, uh, you know, I want to be careful how I say this, but yes. what's really important to, to remember is that whatever feedback you get is feedback, and, and maybe yes. you're watching us play, and you're frustrated by us playing, but what that might also be is this, that's part, that's just a different experience, because your experience programming the game and playing the game is that you know it better than anyone yeah. will ever know it. Yeah, you know so, what happens in level 20, and some people may never, ever get to level 20. Yeah. And, and that's probably... Uh, would be one of the frustrations possibly somebody could have is that they put in so much effort into these later levels and we're just starting out I but used to... like i said we play it again later if there's um something that we want to go back to or like we want to make it to level 20 i played gingerbread man so many times <laughs> and i still can't complete it but i'm gonna do it again because in like you got to do it. I have to make it to that level. I have to. And when I was a when I was a teenager, I used to be a dungeon master for all my friends and it's like this it's I feel like that's the closest I've been to a like a game developer where like you have all these ideas mm. of how your players are going to play. Yeah, you have that's all a these ideas. Very intimate, like one on one, you're and, seeing them. And you've sometimes designed maps for cities, you plan like, like Are you sure plot you don't lines. want to go in that room? Exa I think you should go on exactly, that room. Exactly, but I spent of, 20 hours in that room. <laughs> yeah, and but Part of the joy of, of and, and sort of also the agony of working with players is that players are random and they will do whatever the heck they want. And the cool thing is, is that if me and yeah. James were to even play this on a different day with a different yeah. whimsy, yeah. we might go down different routes. So, um, but so I totally understand your perspective. Yeah. And that I hope you keep hanging out with the show. Yeah, We'd hopefully. Love to keep um, playing your games, man. I'll, I'm, I'll play yeah. anybody's games who's who's got some homebrew stuff, no matter what you think of the show or the format, yeah. because it's fun. Yeah, and I think feedback is good. And I think critical feedback's even better. And you don't because, sound like a douche. No, no, no. You didn't at all. <laughs> um, because they care about the show, obviously. Mm -hmm. They care about the representation of homebrew games. Um, uh, because... Otherwise, they wouldn't give feedback. They would yeah. be like, ah, stupid show, and just click to the next thing. Like, he took the time to write out his feelings about the way we do the show in an effort to, you know, why do you do it this way? Yeah, man. Sh maybe you should think about doing it a different way. Like, please, I don't understand. Um, so and... I, I love feedback. Um, it makes me critically think about the way we do the show and is it the best way yeah. is it the way that works the best for the and, audience and, and us and for any programmers out there if you have like some easter eggs or some secrets or some things you want to like showcase you can yeah. always hit us up and let us yeah. know hey this is the kind of some stuff that maybe an audience wouldn't necessarily normally see but like we'd love for you to do it on the show and yeah. like we can't guarantee that it'll show up but i mean we'll if, try. You, <laughs> if you send us a thing we'll we'll do everything we can to try to sort of make it work and i always contact the developers when we're going to do the show and i and i say hey we're going to play your show on wednesday um do you want to give some information about yourself or the show or some interesting tidbits? And like, I would say nine out of 10 times they send it to me and, and we're going to do that on the show too. And yeah. it's really great to get that one-on-one, -on -one, um, feedback when, when a game's like 12 years old, sometimes I don't contact them or it's like, I have not been on Atari age forums uh, for, for seven years. And like, ah, this guy's never going to answer me. Yeah. So I just don't, I don't bother, but I still post it. Yeah. So they, it, on their thread. So if they see it, they can contact me. That's great though, man. We got yeah. our, our first bit of, um, community feedback. That was, <laughs> Critical. Yeah. Which is, which it's is good. pretty great, man. Yeah. 
Um, and and people are supportive in the chat here too. Uh, Thrust twenty six says, "Not the only, but you are definitely the best." Oh, yeah, thanks, there man. is there is another one um, that does do uh, homebrew video gaming, um, but it's not exclusive. Atari yeah. twenty six hundred homebrew. Uh, they play everything. Yeah, but they do play a lot of it because they they like it. Um, I, uh, there there's not other live ones I know of. I yeah. know there's a lot of review shows out there. Um, that review, but live, no, I only know of one, but well, I'll look again. Maybe yeah. if they have uh, myself and the other person has inspired others to stream 2600. So. That's that, the dream, honestly. Yeah. If more people want to engage with these games in this yeah. community, I mean, there'll be more people developing, more people watching, more people playing. It's overwhelmingly it's, a good thing. And also to be yeah. having these discussions too, of how should these games be sort of shown? How should yes. they, I mean, the, what's the, the best way to show them? The yeah. greatest thing though like and it comes down to sort of anything creative that, that i really always hold hold like to is this idea that like if you feel like there's a way that the world should be showing something that you believe in really passionately the truth is, is that's never going to happen unless you do it like it's that's and it's, that's why i started the show yeah. it's like i didn't see anybody out there doing what i wanted to see yeah and i was like well this is my forte audio and video this is your thing and hookups man. and i i know how to really crank up the quality in in like it's like i have to have 60 frames per second i have to have an rgb output on the atari 2600 i have to have a high bit rate and all yeah. this and it has to look really nice and have the chat below and be really clean and yeah i just you I, know you're like, on to something when like you're trying laying in bed at like 2 a.m trying to sleep and you just for whatever reason your brain can't stop thinking about yes. something and you're like oh i guess we have to do it yeah and if you yeah. have enough nights like that in, the, in a row you almost do it so that you don't have to think about it anymore so you yeah. can just you can just keep keep <laughs> so you can a, sleep at night that's the process of creative people if you don't act on this creativity that's rolling around in your brain like even writing it down will yeah. we'll get it out of there because otherwise you just keep thinking about it it's like i have video game ideas i have movie ideas i have project ideas and it just ha haunts me until i do it and, and that's the thing about creative people and art artists like it just drives them crazy unless they do it and so like you know if you guys see something that you want in the world you have to go mm. be the person that does it like yeah. it's just it's just the truth like yeah. if you, you see you can't complain until somebody does it you have to do it yeah. nobody's going to do it for you and um and yeah and 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 that being said thank you all for making these games and so yes. put and, and making it so this show exists oh my god without you guys and we'll keep doing it our way hopefully it's <laughs> you know this could be people who are into it people who are not and, you and know? that's the thing about doing something a certain way eventually you'll find your audience correct it doesn't have to be everyone likes it it has to be enough that you care like yeah. one person that maybe that's good enough and some I, people go for the broad audience and do what not necessarily what they like but what gets the most people i've never been that yeah. person I, it has to be something i like and i know that it'll also be enough people out there they'll like it too not like, oh, I like this and it'll be super strange for everyone. No. I love live show formats personally because oh, there's... so the, interactive. It's so interactive, but it's yeah. also I feel like I get to be myself. Like I feel like on... And there's something casual yeah. about me sitting in this position and like in James's house. Yeah. Like I think some of the tough things about YouTube content is it's like, hey guys, welcome to... And there's <laughs> How's this, it going? Hey, boom. <laughs> like all of a sudden... Welcome to the show and we're going to do some gaming <laughs> here. Welcome, 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 welcome. And it's, it's just like, like, I'm like, I don't... That's not me. I, I can't... Know. I could never... <laughs> be that guy but i can hang out and, and 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 be myself and that's something that i like that about about longer form stuff yeah. is that you know your who you are can be showcased rather than this yeah. sort of performance concentrated you know like pressed down ex fake excitement kind of thing and youtube is like they're cutting out even the breaths it's like yes. <laughs> yeah. and you're like oh my god it's too much my brain's overloaded let's, let's go a different direction uh, guys so uh ground trooper says i totally agree that's why zero page homebrew gets my prime subscription thank you for your support thanks ground trooper and we have spent 40 minutes blabbing on that's great and it's time to, <laughs> it is it's fun and we don't do it often like talking about this stuff and it's so great i thought we'd dedicate the time at the beginning of this and show i kind of like that there's that there's just like as far as we know gretem's thrust and grand trooper <laughs> yeah here. so that like this isn't like you know this like, is, get on with the games yeah, ah! it's nice that it's this is like our core 
people who are here. Like, they, they'll listen to us for a little while, blab on about the show, and maybe <laughs> hopefully some of the some of the meta talkings of the show is interesting to you because you're here yeah. every week. I, yeah, it and is we meta. appreciate that. <laughs> So Let's we're going to get on with the games. Thank oh, you there, for... There was a table I here. know. It's going to be the okay. floor and it's dangerous. I don't mind. We're going to get a little table here because the table was closer and there was somebody yeah. over there and oh, it's, it's all no been problem. rearranged. I just, that's all I just realized. I'm like, okay. Oh, yeah. We got to go down to... So we're going to play Tower of Rebel. Dude. Tower. 2019 Work in Progress by M.K. Smith. Well, this is a lot bigger. This is great. So let me get the volumes going okay, right here we'll because... Okay, we'll get the volumes set up. Uh, it's a new setup. Actually, there's probably no sound here on the TV. Ooh, sticker here. It's fun to hear people BS. Makes it more friendly and inviting than just being thrown into the game. Yeah, yeah, good point, man. Yeah, I mean, you need some personality. I mean, you're some... not here for just the games. You're here for us, too. Otherwise, we, you might as well watch a playthrough with nobody talking. Yeah. Just yeah. the screen. Um, it's a it's a combination. It's and, a and luckily, sort of... you, can, you can tolerate our... Our yeah, opinions. Sometimes I'm, I hear more for the BS than the games, which is bad. But ah, what can you it's, do? It's fun. Uh, so this is by M. K. Smith. Um, oh. It was first posted on January fourteenth, two days ago. Holy <laughs> shit! Okay, brand new, fresh. What is this Tower of Rubble? I'm excited to find out. Oh, um, mm, mm. based on the original PC game by Flatgub. Should I get the PC game up on the screen? Yeah, do it. For just you. For me, I'm sorry because to make... All, all you guys have, have seen it out there if you watch the other show. But, but like, I'm just intrigued because yeah, this is out. a thing that we've seen that's, yes. been, that's been redone. And it's even in there. That's the other thing, too. I'm staring at a screen that's <laughs> telling me this is based on something. That's right, yeah. Um. So let's, I'll show you and everyone else what it's based on first, because some people out there may have not seen Tower of Rebel. Uh, PC version. Let's see. Tower of Rebel. There we go. Mouse. Yeah, that Head Come on. Let's see how this goes. So there is Tower of Rebel. Oh my god, Tower it's, it's so Rubble. nice not to be sick anymore. You guys have no <laughs> idea. You have no idea. When you can't breathe, it's awful. Yeah. Okay, let's see this. So here's the um, PC version of it. And it's got the old school four color. Practice until you're ready. CGA. Uh, um, so you're a little dude wandering around. There's some water down there. There's uh, stuff falling from the heavens. You have to not trying to crush you. it. And they fall away as well. You can see they start cracking. And the, the rubble falls away as well. And so you don't want to get crushed. And you don't want to also... This guy's climbing sprite is pretty amazing. The animation is really, really, really good. Like, look at this guy just crawling. So we get and jumping, too. Let me get some sound... <laughs> There's stuff coming from the sides, there's stuff coming from the bottom and So top. this is just don't die. Yeah, don't this die. Just, this is just a classic... Uh... Hopefully there's not much, too much... CGA. Sorry, Brad. Um, hopefully there's not too much feedback and weird things yeah. going on, but it sounds okay. Which is a lot better than before. I don't know. It's better. Better setup. Good. Okay. So that is... That is the basics. Okay. And, and, and I saw this. I actually saw the C64 version, which is very similar. I saw this and I was like, that looks like you could do it on the Atari. For it's sure. Little dude, that's fine. That's your one sprite. That's your one player. Um, blocks. Blocks are easy on the Atari. The you climbing the, and jumping is amazing, you though. You can do the play field for the blocks. Um, and I've seen blocks done very well. Um, so let's get on with the... 2600 version and you can see they've oh, kept the colors new, is this um i've got two of them okay cool so this maybe i haven't used that this one this is just the nicer one it's yeah. just it's yeah, the whole thing so they've kept the color scheme from the cga should i just go for it yeah based on the original pc game by flat gub oh is something happening uh oh no bad sign We may have to play the earlier version of it. Oh no. Or plug in a different joystick. Let's try a different joystick. Yeah. Very quickly. Sometimes this joystick is. 
weird. That's part of the charm of of the of the Atari is is, <laughs> is that you just sometimes don't know what well, mechanics are gonna. All yeah, together. and also work in progress games. They haven't worked out all the bugs. Yeah. Hopefully this reaches. Hold on to that. Got it. Because the console is further away now. Yeah. That might I may be... have to put in a uh, DB9 extender. Think you can do it? Oh nope. Okay, something is weird. Let me try. Try it again. Nope. Okay, we're gonna have to play the old version. He just updated this. Oh no! Like just today, buddy. Yeah, we'll do the old. So version. something is not allowing us in here. The old. This one had sound, and oh. and so so he was he was rushing to get this done for me for the show, um, but. It's tough. I imagine people always, I know, do these things on emulators. Yeah, you don't um, have to hold out a button on that. It's just that joystick. Cool. So... Um, bottom one? The top one. Top yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, I think that might have been the one that I pushed. Really? Yeah, I, oh, I pushed the top the one. Okay, the so we might have... I, I fully pushed the bottom one. The top <laughs> oh. one. So like maybe oh, good. maybe actually it's, it's... It's a good thing. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Ground oh, Trooper, oh. don't you do any research before you play? <laughs> I love that so much. Oh, hell no. You know what? I ne I didn't play this on my console. Yeah. I played it with Stella. That's the thing. And, and I don't think he has a console to play it on. So it must be a, that conversion between those two. I love it so much. Okay. I I, this is the most... This is We're going to play it on Stella. Okay, Because cool. we have to see this. Yeah, um, cool. Sadly... Sorry, everyone. Yeah, uh, no. But that's what that's what goes down sometimes. Yeah, because usually when it's on Stella, it's it's f totally fine. Because we're in the gamer pose. This doesn't it doesn't matter. We're, <laughs> we have to pose. lean in. We have to lean in because of the consoles right yeah. there, which is good. I'm a big fan of the gamer pose. Okay, so I'm gonna load up Stella here. Okay, cool. Um, and then I'll be I'll just be playing off of the TV, right? Sorry, the Oh, we can put it on there. Oh, sick. Okay, yep. cool. So it'll all be exactly the same and you're just going to play with the keyboard. Okay. Um normally we don't do this, but uh we got to do it, man, cuz we, like, do we don't want to don't want to disappoint. Really don't want to disappoint. Tower of Rubble, MK Smith. 2017. Full screen with this? It's too big. How do you do full screen on uh, Stella? What's the command? Everyone, quick! Ah! That's not it. It's not F. Uh, I'm gonna have to look that up. How do you make it smaller? Okay. Try that. Yeah, as, we'll long, as, as, long, as long as I can see it, that's all that matters. This thing's big enough. That might be good. Hey, Atari. Atari's just decided to join us for a cat stream. Cat stream. Yeah. Oh, what is Stella? I only play in real hardware, lol. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Okay, so <coughs> that's, we've got that. Oh, you're still getting over it a bit? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Um, it's so much better. You said it'll be about two to three weeks before it's like fully gone. But when you're like close to death... <laughs> um, you know, you, you, Dude. everything feels better, you know? Uh, we're gonna have to play it on this screen. Okay, that's fine. We, we won't, we won't have the same connection to, to the, to the, to the audience, camera, yeah. but that's okay. Better to see the game than not. I mean, it's small anyways, so they're not seeing our faces. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. So it's just space, left, right. Okay. Oh... Annoying. Sorry. Oh. oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, God. Uh, no, because we were still in that program. There. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. And, and it, does space jump me or up is jump? Okay. So now we've got... Wait, one second. Okay. Uh, why can't we hear anything? Can't we hear anything? Come on. It's just a different setup. It's a different setup. Normally, okay. yeah, we don't usually play. We don't usually play. Okay, how do I jump? Okay, how do I jump? Uh, there's no jumping. Uh, there's no jumping. Climb up. 
Why not? Up. Is he serious? Press up. Is he up. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. The climbing spray is awesome. Is awesome. I love it so much. I love okay. Love it so much. Okay. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, how no. I'm, how come I'm, I'm oh, trapped? Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay. Now, <laughs> now I can play again. This is, this is great. Okay. I love the climbing sprite so much. This is I kind of hear some sound. A little okay. bit. I can hear a cat purring mostly. Oh, <laughs> see, I'm dead. Okay. Rip. I'm going to get the sound up. Echo, echo, echo. Yeah, sorry. It's the only way we, we can play. Really play. Check, 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 check. check, 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 check. Oh. And hear it. And hear oh, it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, we got we to gotta see, gotta see Tower of Rubble. One second. Rubble, One second. I'm going to make this proper. We're getting close. Sound on here. You won't be able to hear us for just a second. Your sound now. Okay. Okay. They. They. Oh, there's gonna oh, be. Oh, there's gonna be. Check. Okay. Check. No sound. Okay. No sound. Sorry. All the work he has done is for nothing. We're not going to have sound because it's just going to sound like a terrible echo. Okay, um, there you go. There you go. Back. Okay, we're we're back into it. Okay, press spacebar. Tower. Whoa. Okay. Echo. 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 Tower. Of okay. Rubble. So now I will talk about the game. My favorite thing in the whole world is this like preamble to like this thing is like uh, us being like we. Oh my god. Yeah. So. <laughs> I hate that when things don't work, but happens, you know it's man. on the fly. Uh, so this game is uh, po first posted January fourteenth. Uh, this build is today. Today I downloaded this before the show, um, and that's why it's all crazy. Uh, this marks the third Tower of Rubble port in a month, <laughs> and why? Because it's a cool looking game. Yeah, this is a this is definitely a neat one. Um, Dianoid making Whoa. tower a Tower of Rubble port, and also Tem Tumble Temple. By Blue Swimmer, uh, but that's a little different. He's his game is is falling blocks oh, and you can jump on the blocks and and oh, the game plays a little different different with Tumble Temple, but it's still blocks falling from the ceiling. Um, but Dianoid is making a port of the game that is like just like this. His look is very different though, um, and uh, Dianoid has just started um, on his game. It's not play. It's playable, but not the game's not playable. He's just kind of got the demo screen working. Um, so a little bit about the developer, uh, M.K. Smith. Um, so I was talking with him, and here's a little bit about him that he sent to me. My name is Matt. I'm 47, and I live in Australia. I popped up on your show last week as M.K. Smith AU, and we correctly guessed he was from Australia. This is before he actually even announced that he was making this game. He was in our stream. He's just hanging out? Just hanging out. Was it in a stream I was on or was it No, it was when you were sick. It was last week. Oh, no. On Wednesday or Friday? I'm not sure. Um, I've recently returned to the Atari 2600 in the past six months. Had one as a child. Um, so I think this is his first game. It has he to be. He didn't outright say it, but it, since he was a, a child, he oh. hasn't got back to the Atari 2600. His response is a little slow sometimes. This is like Really? Yeah, like I'm just like... Is it a is a kind of tile based. Yeah, I'm thinking like, it's like one move at a time. I'm more of a, I gotta more be a little bit more of a tap. Ah. See, like oh, Dianoids is smooth. Like you can move anywhere you want. I believe. Yeah, it really is tile based. You're right, and yeah. I. So you I, have to think in the tile based way. Oh, now you're trapped. <laughs> yeah. See, this is like rough times. Um, first purchasing some juniors to repair. Then I bought a Vader and a light sixer for myself. Toggle full screen, Alt Enter. Okay. Stop for okay. a second. Oh. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Oh, guys. Thank you very much, Ground Trooper. Thank you so much. For looking much. that up for us. I thought it'd be... Like, Alt Enter is a very common way to go all full screen. So is F. So is Alt F. But I was doing something very different. Oh, God. Squish. It's, um, the response is actually, you got to be quick with this one. Mm. Oh, see, I'm an idiot. Oh. <laughs> right into it. <laughs> it's like You got a one point. The point is to avoid the beams of from heaven yes. destroying Completely. you. But also be tactical about where you're putting yourself. Yeah. Kind of climbing up as much as you can. 
is a good idea. Oh, the flashing is so good. It's amazing. Also, like the climbing up for the destruction, is pretty amazing oh, too. Oh my god! And he's so far ahead with this game. Um, this is like the only thing he added to this build was sound. This was exactly the same as his first build. Um, I've always enjoyed programming games and have a long history with AMOS. Oh, see, like, I, can't, I'm not I, was, sure. I was fast enough, but like it didn't respond. Like, see, uh, oh, right into it. Like, I just, like, because I pushed back, it's, I feel like there's like a delay to some degree. Because, like, see, like, sometimes I'm, hit, I'm hitting it, but like. Uh, you think it should, might be a bit, well, should it's, be a it, bit more responsive? It, it almost feels like it warms up. Like, it's almost uh, like I'll, I'll get it going, but if I'm like still. It feels like if I keep moving, it's a bit better, but like... Oh, uh, has to warm up. Oh, shit. Oh. I'm an idiot. Um, I'm not sure what AMOS stands for. I'm more recently Blitz and Monkey. Oh, these are yeah, games I that see, he's like, played, right now, made. I, I thought I'd have a go at the Tower of Rubble as a test of Batari Basic. Is Batari Basic this one? That's amazing that this is made in a Batari Basic. This is such a good, like... I know Batari yeah, Basic like... can be used really effective, like Panky the Panda. Oh, it's made man. in Batari Basic, and that's one of the most impressive games I've seen made. Ah! Of and this is Guys. really amazing. It doesn't look like a Batari Basic game. Not at all. I, I, this translates really well to the Atari, for sure. Yeah, like, would you think that this I, is I an love, Atari game? I, just, I love the movement so much. Like, the, the climbing like of stuff, and like the game. jumping up and down. Like I wish people would use this format for more things, because yeah. it's, it's, it's a pretty amazing thing, because I never feel connected to blocks in games. Like, even Mario, like, that's a mm. really high-level game, yep. but you don't grab the sides of things. No, uh, no, not in... Not for a while. It takes a while before no, you get... No, like Prince of Persia uh, was a game that you could hold on to sides of that things. Was the f I remember that was the first time I was like, next level platform. Oh, see. The original has two different block speeds. Yes, and there's like screen shakes, and there's like boom, 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 and then it's... So it's just the first iteration. It doesn't have all... Oh, right. Oh, see, just but got like, out of see, it. But like C-Rec right now, I got oh, delayed oh, for a second. Oh, that was close, Like, too. it's tough because like, if I don't move, sometimes yes. um, I kind of just chill out for a while and there's nothing that can be done. <laughs> you get to... Oh, my God. This game's so, so cool. Is... Um, I thought I'd have a ta go at Tower Rubble as a test of Batari Basic. Oh, my God. Uh, before I noticed, you had put out a request, which I which I did. Um, good luck to Dianoid. By the way, look forward to seeing his take on it. Uh -oh. Has besides um, oh, nobody oh. besides Pac-Man has there ever been a game, a homebrew game, where two people have been developing it at the exact same time? I mean, there was also Amoeba Jump, and um, what is, what's the original one called? Oh, Do Doodle it's Jump. So dumb. I there was it. Doodle Jump. Yeah, that that was another one. Yeah. I hope the three versions are going to compete. Oh, yeah. They'll be in the running for next year's awards. Oh, no. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> if they all finish it. You, they should which, all Which they it. would. Yeah, oh, they're yeah. very fast programmers. Like, this guy's almost done. Yeah, like, this Deanoid's is... Deanoid's very fast. I know he's very fast. The only thing is, like, see, like, right now, like, like there's times when I, I'm just, like, pop, 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 pop. Oh, there's other yeah. times that I'm just stuck. Huh. That may be the programming. That might just be part of the fun of... <laughs> it could be. Of, you have to learn to adapt to it. Yeah, because see there, I was like, stuck. And then like, I'm good. Uh, but I feel like as long as I keep moving, I'm actually you're just, fine. You're safe. Yeah, because if you're moving, there's no... No! Oh! Oh, see, that's just... 36. That's just failure. That's your best score? 30? 73, I think. 73. Or, or something in the 70s. I just did it. Yeah, I never thought of that. The three versions are probably going to compete in 2019 Atari Awards. It's amazing. Or 2019 Homebrew Awards. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, uh, still have plenty of things to finish off, especially sound, a weakness always. So the next part is tricky for me. Anyone offering to do some music would be awesome. And um, Sorry, actually, he'll see this game and, and he'll be able to fix what the hell's going on with, with the actual hardware because it's going going crazy yeah this would be more fun on hardware for yeah sure. and sorry we weren't able to play it on the real yeah hardware. like see there i was just stuck stuck there stuck see like, stuck there we go and then i can move oh you know what switch seats oh, do you think it's just yeah it's the distance oh i hit the mic guys. sorry now i'm james yep we've switched names actually our na 
our names aren't on there. What is? Oh, because it's a different screen I don't normally use. That's why. This so is... you're not James. Oh, I'm not James. <laughs> oh, this is better. Yeah. That's why. Okay. Mm. See, we've never done this before. Um, plan B is always good. Yes. If we can't do plan A, there's always a backup. I know Stella oh, is always there to oh, pick us up. Oh, Wink Dot. Welcome, Wink Dot. He says, uh, hey, dude. hey there, I'm late. Um, okay, what else was I going to say about this? Really enjoying the Atari Age community and the great members who always offer assistance. Yes, the Atari Age community is amazing. If you ask a question, there's always somebody there to help you out with a programming problem that you're working on or anything about uh, video games or uh, Atari 2600. Also, well done to you uh, for your support of this great community and the very entertaining show you and your friend friends do <laughs> which i've been catching up on thank you so much for, I'm, I'm really glad you enjoyed the show um so he posted this um uh, this is explanation uh, how long can you survive on the lethal tower of rubble as it crumbles and rebuilds itself around definitely you? not that long if you're 15, <laughs> oh god you're, where I am. <laughs> you're, you're essentially dead unless it cr one crumbles and uh, then builds itself up. Ironically, this is the best that I've done. You're know. safe, man. Stay there. No! no 74! That's the best that I've done was trapped. Oh, oh God. wow. That's so funny. Yeah, you always have to kind of I made put a... yourself in a safe spot where there's options. No! <laughs> I made a bad decision. I've made many bad decisions in, in the <laughs> Tower of Rubble. This is my first Atari 2600 game written in Batari Basic and DPC Plus as a way of learning code the, for the Atari. So this is his first Atari He's game. Learning, holy. First Atari game. That's He's amazing. done other programs, but not on Atari 2600. That This is amazing first go at it. Unbelievable. Um, I just started coding just before Christmas, uh, so about four weeks worth so far. Oh my God. Apologies to Deanoid, <laughs> who is also writing his own version of Tower Rebel here. I initially saw the C64 version of the game late last year and was looking for something to start and didn't realize the version was always being already being created. I'm really looking forward to seeing what can be done properly in just 4K of memory and with some assembly skills. Wow. Good luck, Deanoid. Start of the game. Currently, a basic, uh, basic mechanics of the game is complete and the following is essentially complete. The player can run, jump, can you jump? Uh, yeah, but it's like, I'll show you. Oh, from block to block. Yeah, like, oh, okay. I'll, I'll show you in a sec. If, if but not with the butt. No. no. Okay, climb and like, hang here's, around. Here's an example. Oh, God. Oh, See, oh you almost got your fingers crushed there. It's a bad time to do it. But, like, oh, cool. He kind of attempts to jump. And then, like, <gasps> That's awesome. So, like, it just depends on what's going on. Like, right here is not a great place to be. <laughs> oh, no. Death. But there was no option. No, you were forced. I was, there was no choice. Uh, the, main, the main beam drops tiles randomly. The secondary beam clears columns from uh, moving in from the outside <laughs> in. Pause the game with color black and white. Press fire to continue. Uh, game currently ends and pauses for a period of time before returning to the title screen. You can restart directly after a short pause here by fi pressing fire. Oh, okay. Uh, I've had to work around a few things to keep the frames from jumping, hopefully. I've had to split up a number of things uh, over various frames to keep everything moving. I have banks set up in the DPC RAM to track the tiles. That's a lot of tiles to keep track of. Poking a whole row can cause some slowdown. I haven't seen any, but I haven't been looking at it. Um, using the PF pixel command to draw clear can also be very slow. PF V line is a little faster, so that is uh, Atari basic commands obviously there's a still number of things to finalize test on real hardware yeah there you go sorry dude there's your test i will work with you See? to get that going if you don't have a harmony card he says it's on See, its here's way your jump right there right right oh yeah. you jump and hang on you don't yeah. completely so like, here's jump. one jump hang jump yeah. hang it's pretty cool oh there you go now you're a bit safe you always want to stay high, I guess, right? Well, stay yeah, high. it's it's tactics to this game are like see now. Now right, you want to get like, up, right? Well, yes and no, like <laughs> like because right here it, this could go any direction. Yeah. So like like right here. Uh, now you can't go to the right. Well, you could. Could you jump over that chasm? Yeah, I totally could. If I, oh oh, oh we're see, right into it. I was trying to I was trying oh. to get to the other side, um, and the tough thing is is if you're moving and it's like and you move into it. 
there's really nothing you can do. Like I've done that yeah, a couple times. Yeah, because you can't turn around and get back out again. Yeah, fast like enough. let's say I like decide to move. Uh, like there's a good example of you, one where like I you made, can't get out again. I'm like, uh, because I was like, oh, I want to jump over there, and as I was jumping, the thing came, and there's not enough time to really uh, do anything. So, so there, like you can unintentionally kill yourself randomly. Easily, yeah. That's one example. For example, right, right there, I did, did. I wanted to move, and as I was moving, it teleported, and there's right. no way to get out. So you're actually wise so it, to uh, to sort of stay, moving? not just actually not to keep moving. To oh. stay in one spot and wait until it teleports on top of you. And then move and move like, quick. Because, like, if it... I have... Like, the problem is, is if I move into something like that, yep. if I had decided to move into it, I would have uh, died. So move cautiously. Yeah, like, like see, like... Get... Oh. And that's one where I'm just screwed, right? Because I... Because it, like, teleported around me, and then it takes time to climb something. So, like, my reflexes... Oh, uh, Wink Dot, there is no sound to the game, because we're playing it on an emulator right now. Yeah, cause... Uh, it's not working on real hardware. He didn't have um, real hardware to test his game on, and I assumed it was going to work because it worked flawlessly on the uh, emulator, but you can't start the game. It just kind of flips around and goes back to the menu system again. Unfortunately, he did have sound in the newest build. This newest build does have sound. And there is no sound because I don't have Stella set up because I never use Stella. And we would echo, either you could hear us or hear the sound. And, you know, we're more important. <laughs> you want to switch to yeah, the I'm sound? Rip, right. For a second. Just so we can show off oh, the sound. The sound. Um, just click the mouse. See the mute and unmute oh. in the middle there? Just click on those little... Um, click that one, yeah, click that one and click oh, the other one. And click the other one on mute because oh, we're... What was that? What was that? Okay. There. Okay, we're back. Okay, my turn to play. Yeah, definitely. You can keep uh, reading. So oh, this man. is the seventeenth build, and it is making sound. We um, so I don't know why this score isn't yellow, but it's not yellow for us. Um, <clears throat> so these are the things he's adding to it. Okay. Um, so second one, balancing. Okay, um, he wants to, uh, balancing and, uh, game runs quite quickly at the moment. Um, yeah, that's cool. I mean, I, that's, that's, that makes quickly? sense. Uh, I think, yeah, I think he means just... Start off a little slower. Yeah. I mean, oh, that's not a bad idea. Then maybe he could ramp it up, potentially. Yeah, it is fairly fast and furious right away, isn't it? Yeah, it kind of, you know, like, I, there's like almost a couple times ah. I almost died. See what I mean when yeah. you move into it? It's a big issue. Like you can't get out of it afterwards. Um, add some variation uh, to the tiles. Currently causing a few frame issues, so I'm not sure um, I will be able to do it. And then we have a sound and music. Always an issue for me, but we'll see how I go. And, like, sorry we can't showcase. We're flipping between emulator. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is like the, ah, the, ah. the the first time we've done it, and probably the most awkward. Um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> easily the most awkward. After we got complaints of you're not prepared. Yeah, th th ah, th this, no. is, this is my favorite part of this whole thing. Oh. It's you're not so prepared, big. and then we demonstrate we're not. Well, you know, this one was not in our hands. No, it um, wasn't. We're just, you know, we options were to skip it or do it imperfectly, and we'd this... rather we'd rather look like idiots and show the game than, than <laughs> yes than not. Um, like usually, I test it out on Stella, and if it's got two, a stable two hundred and sixty-two lines, and it never varies from that, I've never had a game not work on the on the harmony yeah. part. And but, this is the first one that has never worked. 
Because and it's it, so and of course, it's right after we read a letter about. You guys should. You guys are terrible. <laughs> uh, horizontal uh, beam will need to look at drawing this with the background. Um, I have right. a, have have about nine hundred bytes available in the bank. I'm using for the beams. Other oh, okay. beams. There are a couple of other beams which I need to investigate, which uh, drop and clear tiles uh, slightly differently. Oh, I'd be interested to oh. to see how that works. Maybe he, maybe it only like does like half of them or something like that. Um, that would be my right. guess. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, game over notification. Still deciding on whether to add this as it will explain your death. Oh, really? Would Explains love to over. Yeah, this is what it says. <laughs> Would love Explains to overlay, but doesn't appear possible. Oh, okay. You have been crushed. Oh, you have drowned. I, I don't see. know. That's my guess. I, I could be sense. wrong about that. But... 55, getting there, but not there yet. Oh, my God. Oh, the options I have. I guess yeah. I can jump, can't I? Yes. <gasps> I can. Oh, Dude, that was good. You just made some, you just made some Tower of, of uh, Rubble decisions. Uh, this is That's a predicament uh, to be in, though. Now You're, I'm dead. Rip. Now I can't get up. Well, it's possible. You don't know, because it might... It so might have to kill that column or make something right next to the left of me. Um, I'm, we'll see. 84. You, doing good, you, though. You're doing better than I've ever Hands done. Hands off. I don't even need to touch it's out of your the controls hands. Or to it win. could it could do the one on the left now. And nah, dead. Rip. rip. So that would have been killed by a laser beam. Um, I guess. Any remaining bugs? Yeah, you have been lasered. <laughs> you drowned. Uh, any remaining bugs? I did see one where the player was oh, hanging. You can jump into after, the water in this one. Uh, yeah, you totally can. Cool. <laughs> I, Sorry, I interrupted uh, you. Oh no problem. Any bugs? Um, I did see one where the player was hanging after the secondary beam cleared a column. Um, would love a two-player version. I partially ooh, coded ooh. it, so two this may player? be possible. <gasps> Not sure how. Uh, oh my god, that'd be amazing. How many frames might oh, be left damn it. though. Um, Thrust says uh, maybe the original is not completely random with the blocks. Mm. Oh. Oh, I see. So you aren't oh, like Thrust. put in these predicaments. Yeah, right? Thrust just said that um, uh, that that he had it, his Stella on special developer settings. Oh. So oh, the score okay. is white. Yeah, I had mine on developer settings a little while ago, too, and I was like, what is going on? What is wrong with this game? And I found them and turned them off. Oh, dude, he says, any mm -hmm. feedback would be very appreciated. Also, any suggestions on how to speed up uh, PF drawing or poking uh, PC plus RAM <laughs> um, in some sort of batching update would also be awesome. Well, you won't, that get, you won't get that here. We're not uh, programmers at the moment. Not with basic either. So when I uh, work on my game, I have like a binder of twenty games <laughs> that I wanted to make, and I just came up with another one the other day. Oh god! Um, I'll be doing it in assembly and not basic, because I really want to. No! <gasps> oh Jeez. wow! But now you're uh, now I'm trapped. Now you're in a predicament. Ah, drown! <laughs> <laughs> wow. I didn't know you played Prince of Persia, by the way. I have not. I've just seen it. Oh, okay. I played um, I played the first, second, and third game. I played the second game as much as any a human being could. But I have played um, uh, Karateka, or Karateka, and I believe that was made by similar people. Yeah. And it was one of the first games that had super fluid motion yeah um for your player character it was a big deal for me that game because it was really second next level platforming mm, um yeah which was great and you could have um you could re rewind time you had a dagger <gasps> wow yeah so like if you died ah. you had like a you had like a, a special reset it was part of the wow. game story that's and really you could, cool it was very neat i like that game the second one's really good the first one's really good too actually but the second one is extra fun just like Dianoid's um, version of this, the animation is beautiful. Yeah. Like, it's so fluid. I also like the really cool, like, like sunset mm -hmm. that's just, like, overlooking yeah, our, very our, our Typical character. Activision sunset. It's got a name because they use that kind of sunset. Yeah. Ah! See, see what I mean where it's, like, the most dangerous thing in this game is moving into a beam <laughs> that's oh happening. Because, and it's weird. It's, like, you think moving is going to be smart, but actually hanging out and then... um. And then see, like, there was a moment where I was thinking, okay, if it's the odds of it being in the same place twice is low, right. but that's it's not necessarily not. the is, case. I think this is purely random. Yeah. Like, so really... it's, it's, and see, oh this God. is tough because, like. I have to stay on the two blocks. Should I go down? I would personally go down. Oh, run, run. 
I think any time you can like get more than one in in between yes. is is better. The more variety of spaces you have to choose from. See now I'm now, now you're I'm in good. A good like, position. You're decent, and well, so now, now you're. I'm stuck with two. Yeah, and so there's I, nothing you can do, and so you see the decision to go at the left would have been better. Damn it! Ah! And then you could have jumped over. I was like, doing really good. Oh, MK Smith AU. Hey guys, really sorry. Programmer, you made it. The real thing. Hey man, that's fine. This is part of the gig. This is yep. part of figuring it out. And, and uh, uh, Wink Dot's here. Yeah, and I can help you out with um, testing it out um, on my system here. Um, yeah, it it just I don't know if you rewound and saw it. It it was on the title screen, and just when you press the button, it kind of freaked out and then just stayed on the title screen. So yeah, it, for some reason, it's not getting past it on. We tried both vers versions actually. Too. Yeah, same thing. So it's not. It wasn't your sound. It wasn't your update that broke it. Let's yeah, say. and there's no sound playing right now because of the we're playing the hookup. Yeah. the way it's we don't. It's going. This is the only time we've ever played a game on. The graphics are one to one copy from the PC version. They look like it because on practically um, on Dianoid's version, he scaled it up so the character's a little bit bigger, yeah. I believe. Um, I'm gonna quickly go to that actually. Just Dianoid's version, just yeah. to sort of take a peek. I mean, that's a nice thing about not you know your. Yeah, he scaled it up quite a bit. Yeah, it looks and it looks it's like a different version for sure. It's a little bit slower too. Yeah, it looks like it. the movement's a little bit slower. But I mean, the I think the animation, yeah, these are two pixels, and I think um, MK Smith AU's is a one pixel. Like this guy's twice the height, yeah, twice yeah, the width. That makes sense. Um, so they're going to be different styles, and that's that's all there is for this one. Is just the the menu screen and oh, the movement. Wow! So this is like quite the improvement that he's made. <laughs> he's, he's a little bit further along in the progress. Um, the other one. But, yeah, the water's going up and down in this one. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. He said, not just joined, must be something to do with the loading screen. And, yes, the PC version, and originally was using the C64 version, but changed over. Ah, okay. Makes sense. Well, there we go. Um, amazing start. Wow. Unbelievable yeah, let's start. Yeah, switch, switch, switch your thing over first so that we, you know. There we go. It might have been, it was it just that easy? Yeah. Use the screen grabber to get the frames. Has 60 frames of animation. Holy, Holy crap, that is a lot of what frames of animation. Just for the for the character, there's 60 so totally amazing. different frames. Yeah, congratulations on that. Um, that is amazing. I think that... Um, I can't wait for all of them to be progress progressing. All three games... Well, that one's just a, like a demo screen. So, Oh, actually, we'll flip back and show you um, what, what, what is happening on real down. hardware. There we go. Okay, good. So there's the real hardware. Um, this is on the uh, Light Sixer with um, Harmony Encore. So yeah, this is the. It kind of flips and doesn't progress past it. Yeah. So there's something with the frames. Actually, I'm gonna bring up Stella again, and I'm gonna look and see if there is any line count changes. You're not. You guys aren't gonna see it. Actually, I might as well. I can go back. Yeah, there. you can. You can totally do it. Um. So my, uh, yeah. Well, I will get into it in a sec. But I was just gonna give you my sense of the game. Oh, you can't see the. Um, that's okay. Well, let's. Oh, I can do it. There we go. Yeah. Okay. He's got it. Dude, this this so cat this is, is just really. This is crazy. <laughs> he's just sleeping. So this, I've turned on the line count. Now, if I oh. press the space bar, it does flip. It does. Watch that 262 in the top corner. Oh, I didn't. Uh, there we go. I didn't change it for everyone. There we, there we go. You can see. Now you can see I've turned on the line count. <clears throat> and when I press the space bar, actually, let's go into. Guys, we're getting behind the scenes. This is yeah. stuff I don't know about. I mean, I'm sure you all, you all know about it. Okay. I just play games over here. I don't think I can make this bigger. But you see the the scan the line count on the top middle. My mouse isn't showing up, but um, it's at two sixty two. Now I'm going to uh, turn on the fire button on the left joystick. You have to manually do all this. Yeah, wow. And then I do another frame. Yep, it jumps two hundred ninety one lines. Um, on the next frame after you press the fire button, 
and then goes to 262. So it's probably that line jump that is destroying. It's weird that it stops the game and goes back to the menu on real hardware. Like, that's really weird. Um, anyway. That is a cool behind the scenes of how I analyze whether a game works or not. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't jumping in the game, so I thought, no, it's going to be fine. So that looks like a fairly easy fix. Yeah, yeah, it's that tool is so, so helpful. Checking line count and actually emulating joystick presses. Yeah. It's it's made helped me discover a lot of issues with games and helped out developers so anybody who's developing games that is invaluable in and getting what's that your called games. again just um me. you just press the tilde to get into the kind of i don't know what is, what's it called let me see source like uh debugger mode that's yeah, what it's debugger actually. mode Stella's and tilde. debugger yeah and then everything's in there and it's got like everything it shows you what's in ram shows you what direction you're pointing you can trace through the code line by line wow. unbelievable so much fun because you can see how things in the program affect the game directly line by line analyzing it um okay we're gonna go to the next game yeah oh yeah so one thing i wanted to yep. say about that one before we go on is i just think i like your idea of the speed if you ramped it up a little bit yeah. i don't know how difficult that would be from your end but just as like a player just just sort of, I moved the same speed, but like maybe the teleporting was a bit slower to start with. And then as right. the game progressed, it got faster. Because it was hard to move out of the way. Like it's. Yeah, it was almost just, instant. Like it was like a. That's an easy fix to slow that down. Yeah. Easy. Just let the timer be longer. Yep. Yeah, and I, I would do that so that, and then maybe it gets faster and faster and faster. Just so there's a, a little ra a ramp up. I always like it in games when like the first level is pretty easy or the first like 10, 20. 30 seconds yeah. or something is but not is, long enough to be like no, i have to do this every game like when you get better at the game you want to make it long enough to get practice that's right when you're a first player but not long enough to bore you when you're a good player and everyone that likes balances. having a good score too so like yes. that would be that would be a way to do it that would be nice but all, other than that like um i think that the the it's game great. is amazing like the keep... controls the, the animation the look is unbelievable everything about it yeah just the ramp up i guess and that's it the new additions, which you haven't put in yet, you know, give that's them a it. sword. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> give them a, yeah, totally change the game. Just <laughs> <laughs> so the next game is actually a rollerball game, made by our very own Thrust Twenty Six, oh, Thomas Yes, dude. And this one is one that did not get a cartridge release um, of oh. all the ten trackball games that were released uh, that's recently. That's why we didn't. And this is pr I, one of the few that were based on a existing homebrew game. So this wow. is a homebrew adaption. I love I love the meta of the meta. I know. So uh, be I'm glad with... you made the game, MK Smith. Yes, keep on it. We yeah, will keep, be playing. Uh, you keep making games. Updates. Clearly, you've, you've, if this is your first go, man. First like, twenty six hundred game. Yeah. Yeah. He's made other, other, uh, other games on other platforms. Other contributions. Ah, oh, sick. There you go. Track box. Back to the track ball. Oh god. That's okay. I'll, I'll lean in. This is puts me in a close up, James. It does. <laughs> Medium, close-up. That's um. right. <laughs> Everyone looks better in a close-up. <laughs> wow. Oh, it works with the rollerball! It's just a little oh. bit... Um, so what is it? Uh, I didn't know that the menu worked marble? with the rollerball. Um, this is Marble Craze. It's just... It's just like a Crazy. little bit... A little tricky. bit too much? I'll get there. I'll get there. See, like this is the problem. I may. I've been able yep. to get. Ah, oh, come on. There yes. Okay. And one down. There you go. Part of the challenge of the rollerball is getting. Oh. Change the graphic. Starts me at level fifteen. Don't Should do anything be... yet. Okay. Okay. It's cool to have sound again. <laughs> it is. We're back to the normal. I'm gonna change the graphic first. Can I make all these graphics? Yeah, dude, <laughs> all these it's little insane. little graphics here in preparation for the show. So should I change the level? I mean, it's... probably you want to start in level one. So this should I, should I is an exclusive build that uh -oh. Thomas sent me yesterday. Ah, uh, that's. Oh yeah, he said that it it glitches out on um, everything except for 
Level 1, 5, 10, and 15, I think? Okay, cool. Well, I got it to level 1. So, um, so this was originally released in 2002 by Paul Slocum. We played the paddle version of this on June 1st, and the paddle controls were very challenging. The original controls, you play with two paddles. Oh, shit. And you have to kind of orient them like this. I feel like I didn't do this or I'd remember it, but no, I do remember I don't think you I do remember playing one game that was like that at one point. Because this is made after, you know those wooden marble puzzles? Yeah. Where you tilt the board and it tilts oh, shit. and it's a marble and you have to avoid the holes as you go through it or get to the last hole. Oh, I yeah, I've played those games many like Original Homebrew is by Paul Paul Slocum, so I wonder who Slow Cool is. Maybe it's a spelling error or something because Slocum is like, um, mm. very close <laughs> to Slow Cool. Slow Cool. Yeah. Um, so this was first posted in the forums on February 17th, 2017. Uh, the latest public build is September 2nd, 2017. And he sent this, uh, Thomas sent this to me yesterday. And this is version 1.1c. The public version is 1.0. Um, this is for the CX-80, which I have, and the CX-22. Uh, and uh, he says, attached is the best one I have for you. It's a test version, so you can directly select all the levels. That's why the menu display looks a bit odd for anything but level 1, 5, 10, and 15. Okay, but cool. But starting level 1 is probably, probably good. Feels, it's cool that you can do that, so you, I guess if you've done like puzzles 1 to like 9. Yeah, you don't want to do it over again, or you want to, yeah, it's a bit of a pain. And Especially if you want, if you want to practice a certain level, yeah. And do you remember those games where you have to do like a cheat code, and it would be like this, it's like up, fifteen down, left, long, a, B, a, B, a, B, a, B, or or type it in on the yeah, screen. Yeah, because it would be like to skip oh to God. level eight, you and you have to like write out like a code that's longer, you know, than like you know. Yeah, it, because it would keep track of your inventory, things you have done in the game, things you've opened. Uh, your stats. That's why so, it's all so long. So I'm a fan. And of And it, it's also so you can't just directly type something in. Yeah. It's got uh, error checking so that you can't randomly make something up and start a random game. I don't. Um, he says, by the way, the difficulties are A are easier than B. Okay, cool. So we'll be on A. <laughs> Thank God. To start. Because this is not an easy game. Uh, with the... With the the um, trackball, it might be easier. Yeah, with the trackball, it might be easier. But with the um, the paddles, it was so hard. It was so hard because you had to do two at once. You ever play like done it? Try to draw a circle with an etch a sketch. I did, you, and, and it's that's, that's how hard this game is drawing like, a circle with an etch a sketch. So you look at those YouTube videos of people who've like painted things on etch a sketches. Oh and you're my like, god! You're yeah. like somebody didn't have that many friends in grade five. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of time. Um, okay, I would say go for it. Okay, bam. So you're on the left, I believe, or you're on the right. Okay, what's going on? Hold on. Oh, I see. So I gotta like go through this thing. Is there? There's a timer, obviously. Yeah, 27 seconds. Okay. Okay, I'm. Um, I think I'm starting to starting to get into it a little yep, bit getting better. There. And there's like. Oh, so I'm limited in terms of how long of a time I have. So this is kind of like Marble Madness for the 2600. Come on. Okay. There you go. Plus like 20 I... points. Oh, those are points. Oh, I thought that was like, gonna give you some more time. All right. Wow, okay. So then, do I get level two? So, thrust, yep. And this is the Atari symbol. Atari age level. Okay. Um, thrust, I tried, thrust 26 says, I try to make it easier, not done yet because of my hard drive crash and no backups. Oh no, yeah, buddy. Yeah, sorry to hear about your hard drive Which crash. Which direction do I go? Okay. Oh. Um, I had a hard drive crash. Have you ever had a devastating oh, hard drive so crash many. where you lost everything? All my early films are gone. Oh no! Like, but they weren't worth watching. Well, but they were something, right? They, they I were... mean, someday I would like to see them again. Were they not uploaded at least somewhere? No, because this was before there was really a lot of YouTube no. stuff. Okay, this is like. Maybe I'm trying to see. Oh, there you go. There you go. Come one on. One at a time. One ah. second. One second. Oh, you almost made it. I probably at the top there. That would have been awesome. Dude, I did oh. make it. What? 
I think I literally like just made it. Oh, because you had a time bonus. Oh my god, I would That's go faster. Sick. Oh yeah. Oh, I think on the original, uh, the hard version of this, you can't go off the edges. You die. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, it was so, so Dude, that frustratingly would be like, hard. That would be like borderline impossible. It was. And I think that was the issue. And we didn't switch it. Come on. So like, oh, I gotta oh, go to the left. To I bet. I bet it's this way. Nope. I no. think you have to backtrack and it opens up new levels. Come on. Or maybe version. it's this one. No, no, it's not far enough down. Oh, it has to be on the edge of the screen. Okay, 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 come on. I might have to redo come on, this friend. One. Oh, there it is. Up, up or up. down? Oh, I can't remember which one was which. Okay, we're... you came from down, we're... so go up. Ah, oh, come on, friend. <laughs> come on, friend. Yes! Okay. There you go. Oh, you've got a red key? Oh, that's... oh this is getting next oh. level. I have to go back again. Oh, God, come on. It might be down, it might be the left. Yes, I'm Oh, there you go. Now that's new. Whoa. Whoa, come on. You have to crank it. Crank it. Almost. Oh, oh time's up. That's okay. Where it will Oh, Ground Trooper. Oh, one on my stores, drive crashed on Thanksgiving Day when we we're closed. And the next day, of course, Black Friday when we figured it out. Oh, God. Oh, it starts you... Crank it! Get moving! <laughs> oh, it starts you where you were? Oh, you have lives. Or something. Maybe. Oh, nope. That's not it. That's rough. That's rough. Guys, guys. Yeah, I had a hard drive crash in 1997. And I lost everything. Everything. It was so terrible. But luckily I wasn't... Wasn't really doing anything digitally then. It was it was mostly like stuff I typed up or programs I had or... Oh, that's pause. <laughs> Oh, get the dot. Where are you going? I gotta, I gotta dot it up. I gotta <laughs> dot it up. Um, okay. Uh, this is the write-up from the forums. Uh, now for something completely different, Marble Craze. After I got permission from Paul Slocum, I put this hack on hold for a while. But this week, I finally remembered it, completely refactored the kernels, and created version 0.5. In the attached file, you find two versions for each controller. I wish I had two um, roller controllers, because then we could both play. Because it's a two-player game. Oh, that's another change. You start where you died. Oh, that's so much better. You have to start the whole thing over again. I oh. this... Yay! Yay made it. Oh, God. I lost so many points doing this. Ooh, oh, seizure cat. <laughs> He's just stretching. <laughs> stretching. And you do have lives. You have only three lives left. Oh, God. Um, I can there's... understand why it would it'd be key to start. Come on. Whoa, okay. Oh, it's Maisie May. I'm um, gonna just have to sort of learn some layouts and some maps. Yeah, that's uh, a dead end. <laughs> there are a few to-dos left. Not sure if I can sort them out completely. Two-player two, uh, two player mode is missing power-ups for the second player. That's a problem. I need the RAM for now. Every single byte of RAM is used. Option uh, row selection on the title screen doesn't work. Oh, okay. The PAL versions are missing because I have no source code yet. Ask Paul yesterday. This is a hard one to remember. Please and test like, on some the Some of these, like, uh, see, this is not... Ma is mazes are not my strong forte in games. Memorizing mazes. Oh, I saw the dot. Uh, I don't believe I can get it, though. Oh. Let's see, it's out of the... But it might be... Uh, who knows how to get there. Yeah. Wink dot. I ended up getting NAS for backups. Got a lot of stuff. NAS is RAID 5. Yeah, my big hard drive. I've got an external... Um, what would it be called? It's not a NAS because it's not a network attached. Directly, it's a DAS. I've got a, a RAID 5 DAS on my computer plus a NAS. And they're both, I think this one is 12 terabytes, I think. And my big one is a 24 terabyte NAS. Um, and you're going, why do you need 24 terabytes? Well, because movies. Because movies. Fucking yeah. Huge. If we made music, I would not need. Yeah. That big. It'd be totally fine. It'd be fine. Or you just made like Atari games. Made Atari games, you could fit them all on like a thumb drive. It'd be totally fine. Like you put your operating system and your development on a thumb drive and take it wherever you want. But no. 
We make movies and we need massive amounts of storage. And it's only getting worse. Oh my god. Like, that's the thing. It's like we, we gotta make 10k movies. 4k's now. as a standard is like awesome, but yes. it's also like most people stick with that now. I've found like maybe they'll film in 6k, but they whatever everything I've read, they don't re they don't edit in 4k. They don't no. they don't even come close to doing um, visual effects in 4k. No, not they usually do it in two maximum. Well, some do four. Some do four, but like the thing is, is it's just like at a certain point, it it, it comes down to optics, where That's like last life, eight seconds. <laughs> what level are you on? I'm on level five. Oh, good. I we can believe. skip to five then. Or level four. Oh god. Let's see. Is the music too loud, or is it all good? Well, nobody's complaining, so I record a lot of studio stuff. Hits the nas. Wink dot says. So start on one, two, three, four. <laughs> That's funny. It kind of goes. Bleh. Oh, it actually sort of works. Maybe I'm on the. Oh, actually, I don't think I was. I would the... skip that terrible maze. I think it's. It only... should be more challenging than maze like. Dude, but it's I... only gonna get harder. There's no way. <gasps> no. Okay, you do fall off these levels oh, now. Oh. Okay. Shit. Okay. Well. Um. The odds of me surviving. <laughs> oh, no. You want to get that dog. Uh, uh, it gives you more bonus time. Uh, but I, I can't go back. I can't <laughs> okay. go back. It's too late, man. You can't go back now. Leave him. Leave him. No back. Oh, God. Cause I just, oh, I, it's just points. It's not even time. Because oh, you got a, po a bonus. Do you see that? Like, this is hard. Just, just so you guys know, this is... Yes! Oh, you did it. Oh. I guess they figured falling off is hard enough. That you don't want to make it too mazy. Yeah, they're, they're, this is like this game's ramping up. Yeah, this game is really good with the rollerball. With with paddles, it's an exercise in frustration. Um, Whoa! See, so uh, I, would I have to like not. I have to not go fast. Yeah, I have to take keep this, it. Keep it, take it slow. Keep it slow. Just slow. I'd definitely pick up this game and a track ball. Yeah, this would not be possible. Oh my god! It, it, it's. Any game where you have Whoa. to struggle Whoa. with the controls, that's not what you want to do with in a game. No. And and that's what we were doing with the paddles. Whoa. Is struggling with the Whoa. controls. Whoa. Oh jeez. That's a gem. Get that gem. I think it's just points. I think it's just points. Well that's what it's up there. It's not that you got it, it shows what it is up at the top. Uh, that makes more sense. So more info from Thomas. Um Oh. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, it's not working. Whoa. Oh, there we go. This is like... Disable the animation. You have to collect all the gems on this level, Thomas is... says. Oh, you Thomas, missed some. Thomas, dude, okay. You missed some gems. Is that the goal of yeah, this Yeah, on this one? level. Oh, God, go thanks, back. man. I appreciate Thank you, you letting me know. Um, because, like, we would have been here for a little while. Um, a, and on uh, February 22nd, 2017, I've added the first 1.0 version, or 1.x version of Marble Crazy to the first post. Post The centering is no. now dynamic, faster when the gradient of the board is larger. I've created PAL versions too. Uh, these use the colors from Paul's PAL version with some fixes to better match the NTSC version. And here are the new difficulty switches. I know they're reversed. Difficulty B plays like the original. Difficulty A is for beginners. 15 seconds extra time after death. 30 seconds instead of 15 after time up. Doubled friction. Oh, so you slow down more in the beginners. Oh, see, oh like, too fast. I have to, you gotta go slow. You gotta take your time. Did it. This is the gem one? Yeah. Okay, so I think I collected all the gems. Good luck, James. <sighs> Good luck. Minor ramps. Whoa, 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 Come on! No! The miner in my ass. Whoa, what? No, oh, come on. There we go. Slow down, slow down. Whoa. <laughs> this reminds me a lot of Marble Madness. Awesome. Oh my god, this is so much better with the rollerball. I can only imagine, like, this is be rough without one. It was a nightmare. Nightmare! Oh, you have to take a run at it. Oh, it pushed me forward. There's a default start. It's your starting spot on each screen. Come on. 
Oh no, my rollerball's all too bark. That's part of the part of the, the the experience of the rollerball. Yeah, mine's a little a little foo bark, unfortunately. Because I haven't opened it up yet, because I didn't anticipate we were gonna play any more trackball games, and it was. <laughs> Thrust said that's the fine tuning part, which is not done. I can't get down. There we go. There we go. Yay. No, don't. No, no, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's me. Just throw the ball. Yeah, these. Oh, I have infinite time. Oh no, 99. No, no, no. You're doing well for time. It's just, it's just not an easy game. The thing is, it's sometimes easier to die than to try to try and get the. Uh... So this is a key. I have to go back. Whoa! Oh, it just ramped. It created a ramp that pushed you right down. You're alive. Grand Prix. Oh, is this a time trial one then? It must be, man. Oh, I just this gotta is, go. This is like go, go, go. Oh, yeah, straight. Take your time. I will. Cause dying is. Oh, is there's turns. Obviously. I'm gonna take my time. I thought it was a straight run. Oh, sensitive. Oh my god. Oh! Come on. Come on. Slow. No! 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 <laughs> this is like... Oh, my time is back at 99 it adds, again. It adds up as you die, it seems. Oh! I don't know, though. Um, and you don't seem to be losing that many lives. No, I'm, not, I'm pretty... not understanding. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I think I think that it hasn't been taking lives off. Um, no. I could be wrong, but... Yeah, buggy? I mean, that's, that's like a good bug for us. It's <laughs> definitely a good bug for it's us. It makes the game, like, pretty, pretty beatable. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. I've so what level is it? Does it say the level? A level nine. 9, okay. And there's 15. 15, I believe, yeah. We'll play this to the end. We'll, we'll see. We'll as see. long as it doesn't get too crazy. We'll see if we can do it. I mean, if it does, like, uh... Oh, cool. Ah! You have to barely get get it. Then it opens it up. Oh, and it closes off. Oh, that's cool. So this is like, uh, like the title said, mini golf. It kind of puts you to the next hole. Wow. What a great idea. We weren't able to get up this high on the original because it it's was just, impossible to play not, with it was, paddles. It was just too hard. Yeah, we tried our best, but it was, it was brutal. Yeah, your health is fine. It's yeah, it's not going it's, down. It's like, hmm. Which means we can beat this game. Which is a good thing. Oh, it might be because this is on easy mode? It must be. Um, which I appreciate because, like... You get to see the whole game. Yeah. It's nice. It's good for us. Yep. The Earth world. Earth world. I like. I like that implies that we've been on like a different world. That like everything else uh, was on Mars or something, and now we're back to Earth. There we go. Sorry, my rollerball needs repairing, and I haven't taken it apart yet. So scared. Yeah, you know. uh, ah! Ah! There we go. Back, back. Oh, oh, oh no, oh, my reset point is there. Yeah. Yeah, it's gone bad nice. again. There we go. James has got this. Maybe. Yeah, it's, this is like hard because you oh, get. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 Okay, uh, you as long as you get past it, you're it's fine. fine. Oh, too fast. What am I doing? Plus 50 points. For an object. What's moving and touching my arms? Oh, like <laughs> Not me. Both hands are on the crack ball. <laughs> Time's up. Oh, I did run out of time, but I still didn't lose a life. Oh, it looks like you did lose a life for like the first time in this one. Oh. Oh, maybe different courses don't lose lives. No, well, what's weird lives. is every time that, like, you... No, but, like, you lost a life um, when the time ran out. Oh, but weirdly, you gain really? time as you have been dying. <laughs> like, every time you, like, you, oh. you, the ball splooshes... You, oh, that's funny. So you've if been you keep gaining dying, time. you get time, so you don't lose a life. That's a tactic. 
Whoa, 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 what is... That was insane. It like forwarded me, fast forwarded me to the next one. Watch this. Watch. Plus 15 every death. Whoa. That's like, um, this is pinball, this one. Yes. I don't know if that's what it's called, but... I missed the title of the level. That's what it feels like. Dude! Whoa! That was interesting mechanic. Yeah, that's like a not a great games equals pain. I don't know. This is like uh yeah. This is, Whoa. This is gonna be this is gonna Tough. be a whole thing. Slow. Slow. Slow and steady wins the race. In this case, definitely. Uh, I do going back. Do I go back? It wasn't a key. I go left. It was points. Left or right, because this, that's the thing, right? It can be... Oh! Oh, oh shit. Yeah. This is getting... Uh, this is a maze. This is just like a big maze. This is a problem. Oh, points. Don't care about points. Don't care about... Oh, thank you. Oh, but it could be... Oh, it's a bunch of circles. That's messed up. That's where the oh oh try it's the, not at the top try the it's far. at the side yeah oh now we're in straight okay. oh and that might be going to the right so the, tricky this is like messed up messes with your head it? this feels right though this feels like pro yeah. like progress to yep. me somewhere oh yeah hey. it's at the end. I was a little bit lucky that was... That I was, was lucky that, that, was that I made it first time there. Fire World. Ooh. Oh, the music's different. Oh, shit. For the first time. This is very narrow. Whoa, 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 whoa. I guess that's all lava, right? Yeah. That's just points. Yeah, I'm not going to get it. to control nice. It's nice to a fault. <laughs> yeah. Is that a passage? I'm gonna go down. One to, the right. One to the right doesn't look like a passage. It totally could be, though. It could be. Oh, there's somewhere I've been and it's like not even connected. What's that game where, like, you, uh... There's an arrow pointing down. I'm there's go that down. friggin' thing we played, like, three versions of it, and it just, like, hides and kills you in the dark. And it's got oh. It's like a monster. Uh, Hunt the Wumpus. Yeah, it looks like a Wumpus level. I think we like feels, five versions This of feels Hunt like a Wumpus. Wumpus level to me. You know it does. I mean? Like, I feel like we're wandering out Wumpus is not come out anywhere. Wandering through the dungeons. Oh, plus 50 points. No, I'll leave that for somebody else. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's somebody else's <laughs> game. Just missed that. Uh, I hope this is the right way because I don't want. Whoa! Just calm down. Because you get momentum and then you have to go back on it and then you get too much momentum and then backwards. It, and then the trackball is like not fully <laughs> the best. Yeah. Uh, uh. Oh, dude. Oh no. That's some... it's because it's on the same screen. That's cool. That's. I like... bet if I died here, it would reset me back. To... No, that's so cruel. This is like, this is where the level, this is where the fire level ramps up. Dude. Yep. I bet it keeps doing that. I bet the maze doubles back on itself. And if you mess up, you have to go way back to the beginning. It's good mechanics, dude. It's very smart. smart. This is like, this is, a, it's a very smart way to like ramp up the challenge of the game. So for every screen, it has a um, definitive start point programmed into it. It's not random start. Like it knows. It's like, no, you're starting here, and that's on purpose. I'll get really slow now. Okay, that's I like this. This question. Mm, just question. Like... I'm not going to go to the up, because to the right seems to be doubling back on sure. where it was before. It's not bad idea. Yes, this is it, and I know if I die here, it's going to reset me back to that terribleness over there. Oh, God. Oh, stakes are high. Come on, up. Still gonna take it. Oh god. Okay, Come that was a bonus. <laughs> it's actually, got probably faster. Time. Yeah. There we Dude. go. Dude. points and the end. Bam. 
Oh, I don't know if I can <laughs> try. Go on this level? Haunted house! It's gonna be some dark parts oh, for sure now. This is... Oh yeah, until you get the dot, it doesn't turn on the lights. Super smart! Whoa! Oh my god. Oh. See, that's why you want to play the upper levels of games. Because you don't get a full... Zoom! A full experience is of this, the game. Is this got like a ramp And all the cool yeah, little does. things they put at the shit. end. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I believe in you. Oh, fuck. Yeah, because see, this is like... Damn, I wish I had another rollerball. Is this the only game that has two rollerballs? Oh. That you can use two rollerballs in? I bet it is. I bet you, I bet it is, yeah. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> this is not... Yeah, because there's only been these games that you can use a rollerball on the 2600. And this is the only one that has a split screen, so oh. therefore, it's the only one that you can use two rollerballs in. It makes me want to get two rollerballs. I think you're better at this. Than... Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, narrow passageways on this one. It's a hard... Oh god, come on, buddy. There you go. At least there's a slowdown, and it doesn't just keep rolling. Like, there is some friction. Okay. So if you do a really slow... Oh, you're getting too fast! Ah! Oh, okay. I've got your head! Oh, thanks, Brando. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is narrow shit. No! Points. That was not worth it. That was not worth the, the, the mistakes that I've been made. Is this a ramp? Must no, be. no. <laughs> this is just, uh, Aaron. Well, you got lots of time. Aaron's <laughs> not so good at the roller ball. <laughs> there you go. Make it to the next screen. That's all we gotta and do. Just progress. Oh. Okay, there you go. Must be pretty good. really underestimated this game when I first played it with the paddles. How um, complex and cool. Oh, good job. Oh, God. Oh, and you have to go back and turn on the lights every time. I think so, yeah. Yeah. But there was another passage. Oh, maybe so I should go. Sh sh right. Should I check it out? Uh, I would go this way because this one has a light. No, no, no. What are you doing? <laughs> You're going to make it all the way up there without uh, the lights on? Don't underestimate my. <laughs> Do this game blindfolded. My paddle abilities. Have you ever seen those blindfolded speed runs? Like I that's, have. It's just mind blowing to me that people like are like blindfolded have, Street Fighter and like it's just it's like, they they know the timing of the game when the jumps occur. Street Fighter is like next level. I mean, the, the there's sounds you can kind of you know kinda where you are. Out. But like the like things like oh. I can take over if you. Oh, let me, let me, let me. When you, when you feel like uh, giving it up, because we are going to finish this today. We have Fifteen to. levels. We've gone this far. Level four. I mean, it is on easy mode, but it's still a super challenge. Come on. Oh, you're good. You're good. A great animation on the ball. Like just that little line is enough to. It feels like it's rolling. Oh, God. A little bit more. No, no. Oh, oh you needed a little bit more. I'm an idiot. I was like, I Just got a touch. I got one more pixel. I got, I got greedy. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, it's like sometimes you wheel it and you're like it's doing so well, and other times you're not. There's no rushing. why he drew the background like this. It's so brutal on the eyes. Like, why was it flicker? Why would you need to do that flicker unless he just wanted that look, that kind of transparent? Oh, At least you're on the screen. Just don't go off the screen. Oh, this is a one-up. Oh, what? at the end. Oh, I see. That's funny. 
Oh, it must be. It's hard to get, but it's an extra life. Level 15, last level. Holy shit. Holy this is, shit. This is gonna be a hard one, it's all ramps. Oh my god. You're gonna have to take a run at each one of these. Like a run and a curve. That's so hard to do. I used to play mini golf games on, I think, the PC? Yeah, I feel like, honestly, like... Oh, you did it! Get, just get there! Yeah! Oh, you did oh it! God. That's all you have to do. That's all I had to do. I feel and like, you made it past it, too. I feel like playing, like... Oh, Jesus Christ. I feel like playing games, like golfing games, or like pool games yeah. and stuff, I think in some ways they're actually harder than, like, the real thing. Yeah, because you... Because it's like you're learning... You have to learn these random, weird, like... Yeah, like, it's not physical. Like, you can't have a feel for... For it, you Whoa, okay, this is good. Just take the easy easy path there. There you go. That's just points. Whoa. Whoa, it like throws you down. This is this on the hard difficulty would, would be, be like devastating. I feel I feel like um Okay, uh, we got, we have to do it. Yeah, they're, they're forcing you to do this one. Oh, God. Uh, a little bit further. It's like we gotta find the perfect. Oh, almost hold it. Shit. Okay. That's the right approach. Just, just barely make it on. Because you can balance in the middle, I think, after you make it past this little ramp. Because this one's up, next one's down, and then the next one's up, and it kind of gives you a spot where it'll trap you. Oh my god, what is <laughs> Holy cow. Almost. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. Oh my god, I'm trying to like get some speed. Oh, trying to go back a bit? Yeah, so that I can like... Oh! Okay, okay, come on, friends. Oh. Yeah, another run. Oh, oh, back, back! Oh, oh god, okay. Oh, oh, so shit. close! Some music. Like... Oh, you got it, you got it, you got it. Oh. oh! Intense music. That's so good. It's like part of the whole experience. Okay, one more try and then I can let you do this. Over. Okay. See if you can get this junk, cause like you're a little bit better at this kind of stuff than me. Oh, it just throws you off the edge. Yeah, it's really hard. Like you kind of, you have to like, damn, you have to slow it right down. Paul Slocum is a musician. Oh, that makes sense for the music. Brutal there. Mm. I don't know how you even did that curve around. I, I, I kind of like, I managed to do it once or twice. I guess I, could, I, I was close twice. Secretly, I wanted to see if this was as hard as. <laughs> <laughs> it appears to be. It is. Ah! Oh! Oh, it just goes too fast. It pushes you so much. Oh. Yeah, and then you're completely out of like whack. Yeah. I guarantee you this isn't even the last one. Oh, I hope it is. This is hard enough. It oh. seems like the final, but it may not be. Oh, oh. This is like the ultimate, Almost the done. ultimate ball challenge. Mm. Yeah, because like this is also. This is like, for the people at home, you have to understand that this is not just fighting these mechanics, you're also fighting this like, this imperfect trackball, this slope, like there's so many factors that make this very challenging. It's like, it does feel like you're doing like, you're having to like, you know, pre precisely nail an etch-a-sketch drawing, like that is how it feels to some it degree. It is, yes. Because it's not... I 
Have you ever played Marble Madness or heard of it? No, I haven't. It's it's a game with the marble. You roll through mazes, um, and it has a trackball. And, uh, oh! Oh, oh god! And it's I'm not great at it, but I love it. Just the interface and the, the moving of a ball with a ball. It's just like the perfect um, combination. But the, in the other game, there's things chasing after you. Okay, come on. Damn it! Oh, 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 so close! That one was really close because I had a bit of control over it. That was so close. Come on. It seems random how long it takes for you to get control back. It seems so slow. But I know it's like slowing down because you're penalized for dying. I think it makes more sense in a two player mode. Yeah. This pause. Oh! issue too is that you start to like get impatient and then it's like see this is a a, a gully right it's like well, that might be a good tactic just like get up over there get to there yeah take it in pieces piece by piece then get over to the other one okay I'm in a really good spot here. Now I just need to go down. Not die. Oh, 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 oh dude! No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this nightmare. Just bit, bit by bit, though, you nailed it. You nailed it. You had the right idea. This yeah, is... but this is the opposite now. Is Everything it? is slow. Well, you can get safe at the top. That's right. Yeah. So just get to the top. That's all you gotta That's do. True. Okay. Bit now by you bit. just move over. Like anything, just piece yeah. by piece. Come on, get back again. There we go. You just... I think you can get good. Okay, so this is this. This is ramping down, this is ramping up. So I have to get around and back up to the same horizontal exactly. spot. Exactly, all you gotta do. This is the hard, that's all. This is the hard part, right here. Yes. Because it just throws you off. This has got to be the last one. This has got to be it. This is, this is the ultimate. So I can get there pretty easily. This. No, no, no. Come on, back. You have to move and then move backwards and to the left. That's right. There's no, there's no two ways about it. It's maybe the end for us. <laughs> this is good. This is really, really challenging. Calm down. Calm down. Come on, Come on, ball. Come on. Okay. 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 You have to go up, then backwards immediately, and over. Parts like this, I have to fine tune the track ball response. <laughs> yeah, this is this is brutal. I don't think it's the track. I think the track ball response is pretty. Come on, get past that. Track ball response is pretty good. Like it does what yeah. I say it, what I what I tell it to do. But I mean, oh, 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 I was able to slowly go up there. Maybe I'll do that. I'll take it a little bit slower. No, no, no. Yeah, maybe it needs a little bit more power on these. Maybe not. Maybe less. I don't. It's know. hard to know. This is just hard. You shit, want man. a lot of power, but you also don't want a lot of power because then that happens. Okay. okay. Calm down. Okay. I'm gonna take it really slow up this ramp. That's the only option. And then option. really slow. Oh my god, it just it just throws you off the cliff. Yeah, because no matter how much like like leverage or speed Then you're trying not go to the side, but it's but you're spinning the <laughs> Approach, though. I 
think it is. I think it's the only way. Like, going yeah, too going fast, you can't. Yeah, going, like, piece by piece is the only way. It makes sense. It's like, this how things happen. Maybe you can cheat over the gap? No, I don't it's think not, so. It's not, there's no cheating that gap. No, I, it. no, it knows immediately when you hit gray. You're dead when you hit gray. Come on. Whoa. Yeah, we gotta call it at a certain point. Yeah, we might have to on this because this is. Let me try. Let yeah. me try a couple times. I'm not gonna do any better, and then we gotta. And then we gotta move on. Yeah. Move the show. Show along. Oh shit! See, I can't even like <laughs> get up there. I can't even get to like where you were at. Whoa! Yeah. See, it's like, there are two more levels. That's, oh, you can only set it to fifteen. Well, maybe we should go back to the menu and look at those other levels quick. After you give a good try. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, I can't even... You, you're you doing so much better than I was. Yeah, see, I'm like, I'm like it's, there's a certain speed you gotta go at. It. Yes, yeah, it is. And then you gotta slow it down. Oh, Once see, you I was hit doing... That peak, you, I was, you didn't hit the peak yet. Yeah, I almost... I had the right idea. Yeah, you did. did. Oh... There you go. Oh, oh off to the Jesus. side. Okay. <laughs> you have to go back too early, you're going down the ramp and pushing it backwards. Oh, almost. There you go. Oh. Okay, let's... Let's call, call it. Let's call it. Let's okay. go. Let's check out these other levels. Because oh, level. we got some more. Sixteen. Try it out. Let's see what. Let's see what sixteen's like. What? My crackball. Let's get back up now. There we go. Oh. Water World. Ah. What am I starting on? A ramp, probably. <laughs> it's just green. I guess that's the start. Maybe you just never noticed it? Okay, so this is just like... Um, thin this maze. Is, the thing is, is no, like that, that ramp stuff was like next level. It was. That's like... I don't know how... You, like this is like this is doable. This is fine. This is fine so far. Like this is possible. Yeah. Well, you're just not doing it super great. But that's okay. I ah. Mean, I mean, with enough, slower. with enough time. Yeah. And thank you, um, Thomas, for pointing out there's two more levels. So we would have just turned it off. Because <laughs> I thought 15 was the top level. Makes sense that it was Earth World, Fire World, Water World, and then Air World, because that is named after a set of games that were put out for the Atari 2600, um, one of which was never created, and the third of which, the third game, was um, created but not put out, I believe. And what happened, it was a contest. Let's move on because we got a. Well, we have another two games, right? I finished this, man. I only have two levels left. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Yeah. Okay, okay we, got, we got one last one. You're yeah. Good point, good point. Yeah. So you can't we can not. showcase the whole thing. Yeah, I might as well show every level. Correction, four more levels. Okay, well, three now. Which one is this called? Airworld, probably. Yeah. Oh, this is tiny gaps. Better you than me. Clearly, your your track oh, ball skills. What? You have to go through zero size gaps? No, because it's teleporting you to another random place. But when you die. Yeah. So like you. Oh. So, so, so like. Oh, you have to die. So like now, what do you do? Nobody knows. Because oh, you could track, you could backtrack. You know, like this is this is like the most confusing situation, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's because it's air world. You're hopping from spot to 
as fuck. Well. Yeah, and uh, who knows? Cool. It's very possible too that like you missed a point. That's like you know, possibly, but or I think it's point. probably a one-way ticket. It says no, you can cross small gaps. Oh, I can go across this? No, no. <laughs> but there was like there was that point small where, gaps, you, where, you, like where it could, yeah. But like. Every level is kind of like a different mechanic. Like this one is like super small gaps and jumping. Yeah, that ramp was just next level. Yeah, it was too much. Too much! What? <laughs> yeah, this one is all about fine movement. Whoa, that was almost too much. Yeah, this is just like. This is like take your time. Try it out and see to the right, but I think this might just be a dead end. Yeah, yeah this dead end. So that one probably opened up a new spot? Or you just gotta backtrack, man. This is a, just a confusing one. Oh! Yeah, here it is. It's either up or to the right. Yeah, there we go. So it's opening up new. New areas. Ah! Oh. <laughs> okay, well... Yeah. Pushes me forward. I always like death by death. Oh, 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 very thin pathway. This looks like an end. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, it deliberately kills you. That's crazy. <laughs> and this one is an arrow, so it's gonna push me to the right and kill me again. Oh, no. Dude! Dude. There we go. Two more okay. levels. Okay. I don't know if I can... Your skills are so much higher Rainbow than Road. Colorful one. This is just like... Mario Kart. That's right. Oh no. You have to cross those. That's what he's saying. <gasps> Did it! Oh my god. Oh, now you're gonna do that one. Yeah, Whoa. is there a Rainbow Road? Yeah, it's yeah. In Mario Kart, right? That's of right. course. Oh my god. I only know that because I watched the um, speedrun videos Whoa. of Mario Kart. Those are crazy to watch if you ever watch the speedrun videos. There you go. Whoa! I don't know how I'm going to... That saved you some time. I don't know how I'm going to do this, though. There's Slow this, and steady. This, well, I believe there's a little bit of a ramp going on. No. Okay. That, would be, that would be torturous. I'm just not very good. You can add it over. Well, let, me, let me see if I can... Just for the One sake touch. of the, just for the sake of the show. Oh yeah, we gotta complete it. Oh my god. Rainbow Road. Oh. Slower. You go slower. Oh, I think there's less friction. Like it's, do you know what I mean? Like it does feel slightly. Uh... I think there's a little bit less friction. Like it doesn't slow you down as much. Yeah, it just it feels different than like. It does. Your movements make it go faster. Oh my god! Really have to take it slow. Yeah, look, like one push makes it go like really far. What is it? Patience, 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 patience. That's Ooh. that's the name of it. Whoa! I Living, have to, because I can't. Living on the edge. Because I can't go to the right anymore. Whoa! 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 Oh, no! no! <laughs> <sighs> Barely touching it. Yeah, this is a game of, of endurance and patience more than, more than anything else. Yeah. I mean, not skill many, is... Not too many games like this where it's, it's precision. <gasps> Just go down. Just to the, stop going to the right! Is 
should be like a way harder one. Just you wait, just you wait. Oh, man. I need to take me across. <laughs> yeah, it's a tactic. It's, in some ways, it's better. Some games you can do that, like die on purpose as a tactic. And this is one. What? It's actually not a bad thing you die because you're running out of time. Oh, yeah, that's true. But I still have tons of lives, too. It's okay. And you appear right where you were when you died. Okay, so this is what he was saying, that you can cross small gaps fast. Do I have to take a run at this? Oh, you do. You can cross small gaps fast. So I'm gonna have to go Dude, under. I wonder if that would have been the way to, like, beat some of that other shit. Quite possibly. Holy. I'm gonna have to start down a bit. Too fast. Maybe I don't have to go off the screen. It's possible. It is possible. You have to be fast, but it, with the fastness comes impreciseness, and you have to go really fast. You yeah. have to like crank it. And then you gotta somehow do. do, do like, like, Come on! Like I saw the, you see, I like made the, it. the maneuver is possible, it's just, uh... It's hard, you have to go up and then down immediately. While going really fast. Oh no! No! You don't want to die in this screen. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. You gotta do your <laughs> speed soon. Oh. Is this the last level? Press 26, is this the last level? <laughs> I may give up on this one. Oh, Come God. on. This is like, we thought it was hard, and then it just got harder. Oh, my God. Meanwhile, Atari is just sleeping. He's totally fine. Just... One more. Don't know if we're going to make it. Oh, that was so close. Okay. It was so close. Believe in this. These are all by Paul. Next one's by me. Oh, you added one. Rust. Fuck. We have to make it. Now. We have to get to the next level to see Rust's version. Ah. Fast enough. You have to almost start going before the screen comes on. Ah! <laughs> oh no. Almost. Almost made it. So close. It was the turning around and going back down again. And the cat's given up. <laughs> Tari's like, oh. it's like my namesake is too hard. <laughs> oh. It's such a narrow like realm. Dude, 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 dude. I'm convinced that it's very possible if you're at the very top edge, you might be able to go all the way to the right. Do you see what I mean? Mm, it's right at the very top. It's very possible. You see, see how it's like if you were to go straight, right. you might be able to actually skim. Then you probably, then you hardly have to steer up and down. Uh, you still have to do it. But yes, it, it might be easier to just go boop boop rather than whoa. Because if you look at it, you might actually be able to go directly, directly like skip over all the. Gaps. Oh, I you see. see what I mean. With one movement. Yeah, with one. Right. Right. If you go to the very top. Oh, see, Thrust just said the same thing. Try at the very top, then you hardly need to steer. Yeah, so I will do that. Thank you, both of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like that we both thought of it like the same time, because I, uh, I was just thinking that thought. But I have to get very close to the top on this side. That's right. So try. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it's not a terrible thing to start here. It's not a terrible thing. Yeah. So like, find that like right on that edge, like where you can just barely. Yeah. 
and then try that. See, see. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Those thank tactics! You. Holy shit! Yeah, that's the only way. Yeah, because you can't turn around fast enough. In oh, time. that was so satisfying. I mean, now we gotta get through this nightmare. I barely even saw that screen that we just. Yeah, it just perfectly through. Easy question mark. Um, yes, because as soon as you said that, it worked. So easy. I think I think we got a In little bit. Go. Of, I think we got a little bit of luck. Yeah. Um, but, a little bit but of practice. But we also needed the the right like oh. strategy. No! Oh. That's what, my, that's what ah. my stepfather used to always say to me. He said, everything in life has a trick. You just gotta figure out the trick. <laughs> yes. He's like, he's like, if you, if something's really hard, think about what the, what, what's the, what's the technique to approach something. He said, yeah. He said, anybody can work hard, but like, it's, you have to always try to work smart. Yeah, it's usually easier to work smart than hard. Yeah. Because he's like... You can just bulldoze through things, and that works to some degree, but, like, figure out a technique or approach. No! 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 Oh, this level is so... Mm, touchy! The roads are so slick. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, you sped it up. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, there's no friction on this level. It's Rainbow Road. Yeah. There's very little, I'd say. It does slow down on its own. Is that how it is on Mario Kart? Yeah. It's no friction on it? It's not no very friction, little. but it's a lot. It's like it's slightly different. Right? Not quite ice. But... And the other thing about it is there's no... It's the first time in the game that there's really no... Um, like, uh, the, the things are narrower, there's, mm. like, no room right or left. Yeah. Although, people do crazy skips on Rainbow Road, right? Because you can actually jump off certain levels and land on, like, oh, other I ones. See. Which follows this one. Like, everything you just said is in this. Skipping over, narrow, slippery. And there's, like, you know... I just got to this one. I had a super agonist. A girlfriend at one point who was just... Like she yeah. played like her entire life, and she did sort. Of, she would do like she, when she was like thirteen. She had like parties with her friends where they oh, were just like wow. Maryland. So she played. She was like, "You want to play Mario Kart with me?" Little did I know, I had a fucking <laughs> ringer that I was playing against. Like she just yeah. demolished me at every point. And then I would be like, and then at a certain point, she was just like, "We made it to Rainbow Road," and she was like, um, "Do you want me to try?" And I was like, "Yeah." And she just fucking ripped through it, and I was like, "Oh my god." <laughs> this is the same approach, technically. Yeah, you have to kind of kind of go fast a little bit. You might want to die a couple times. Oh, for time? Yeah, I yeah. mean you're probably getting. I will be. Getting that <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this one's possible. To sort of go there. Yay! Hey! Does that mean that, like, this is the finish? But Thomas added one level, so oh, it's not the finish. Thomas! Marble Maze! Oh my god! Oh, maze. Not... Does this have oh. ramps? Just a massive I guarantee maze. you that, like. Oh, it does have ramps! Oh, you bastard! <laughs> A maze and thin and ramps and with and oh, and I hate mazes so much. Oh, dude. I don't know how. I don't know if this is possible. I don't know. I don't know if this is. Oh. This is probably the way because there's a ramp. This is literally. 
No! This is literally a nightmare. This and is like, oh my god. And it's probably slippery too. Oh yeah, this is just like... All of it. This is essentially all elements just combined into the ultimate. This is like an uber level. You know how like yes. in like, games they'll be like... Bonus terrible level. They'll just be like the main boss and then there's just like the uber boss which is like, <laughs> yeah. you know... This, this this one has seven million hit points, and you're like, oh, <laughs> okay. The most damage I can do is nine thousand. I guess I'm gonna be fighting you for two years. <laughs> this is the uber level of Marble Maze. This is the ultimate Marble Maze. It's also showing you the fire level, which reminds you of the hardest level that you had to do. Jay, one up. Just, like just, just go. Just, just. Which way? I don't know. Down. Let's try it's, down. This is not meant for noobs. Oh, oh, that's oh. a dead end. So. No, don't go back. Go down. Yeah. Well, we're not noobs, but we're not experts. We did pass all the levels except for one. It was just two. I was just gonna say, I was, I was like, is this gonna teleport us onto like the bottom left? Oh, that would have been. That would be terrible. Oh <laughs> this, my god. That, that would be the next level of Marble Maze where like you die and it like sends you on this like infinite loop that like of hell that you can't. I think you're gonna have to get some speed. I'm just saying. Oh no. Oh, this is not where I wanted to be at all. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. You can go back. Okay, so I think I can go to the right. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Path of least resistance. I should have gone that way. That's okay. This is good for the points. This is almost like a, a level you have to map out. Yeah, because, like. Okay, just do it. Oh. A, there's gonna be a, a huge. I, I just I wouldn't be surprised if like instantly. Whoa! No! 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 Whoa! What is going yeah. on? No! Oh God! Oh God! Just die and see what happens. I'm not gonna lie. That's true. Got me across. The very least. Oh no! 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 What? pushing me. It's like on it. Up, 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 That's cruel, Thomas. <laughs> Make that the starting this, this spot. The next level. Yeah. Oh, okay. Come on. Woo! Okay, okay. <laughs> Can't go up! Get off of it! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Atari's given up. He's gone. There we go. We're still fighting the the, and we have no idea whether there's any end in sight. I wouldn't be surprised no. if like the there'd be next... like hundreds of screens. <laughs> we got to run. Nice game. See you later, Wink Dot. Thanks for hanging out with us, man. Okay, we're done. We're done. Oh, oh my god. god. We have to be done. Torture. Bye all. What does it do? It's one thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. What is that? That's like, what's that's the three, that's almost three hours. Uh, that's, yeah, almost. Almost. What should we do? Should we, um, uh, should we, should we breeze through the other two games or bump them to another week? Because we're going to show them off at least. Okay, cool. But we may not play them a lot. Okay. But it almost seems unfair to the games, though, if we don't give them their full. Uh, more unfair if we don't play them. Good point. <laughs> So it's kind of a kind of a mix. It's a, it's a, so okay, go. what do we got? Co color. Two more games. Next one's really quick. Okay, two more games. That's right. Thrust. Color. Gotcha. Bam. Find out spot some colors. Whoa. Okay, so this was originally an arcade game. Um, okay. So it was the fourth arcade game ever made. I believe. I feel like this is the right tactic. Fourth arcade game ever made by Atari. Uh, it was put out in 1973 um, after Pong, Space Race, and Pong Doubles. I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit on the dot. Um, 
So this was first posted on July 5th, 2016. This build is the next day, July 6th, 2016. So he pretty much finished it, got it to this point really quick. Um, okay. Gotcha is an arcade game, blah, 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 blah. In the game, two players through, move through the maze, which continually changes over time. One player, the pursuer, attempts to catch the other. Ah. The pursued. If they do, a point is scored, and the player resets position. The game emits electronic beeping sound, which increases in pace as the pursuer gets close to the pursued. Each game lasts a set amount of time. Oh, so, so this is like two player. This is two player. Um, that makes sense. That's why it's so easy just to go and get him. Yeah. Um, let me just read out a bit more before I pick up a joystick. A uh, little project I was working on these days. Gotcha was the third arcade game. No, it's not fourth. A very rare color version was made and recently discovered by Ed Fries. Ed Freeze. Sorry, Freeze. This is the first color arcade game ever. Color. Oh, I guess color then. The square player chases the plus player to catch the plus symbol to earn points. So um, the plus is always running away. And the plus can't get points. Oh, no. And the game is using the com command vid bank switch just because I'm testing with this format, not that the game really needs it. Fix uh, the new version, this one. Fix the timer, now it runs up to 99 like the arcade. Hit pause, now the game is cleared and freezes by one second or so every time the player hits, just like the arcade. Remove the black bars in the corners. Press the joystick button to restart the game or switch anytime to reset. Um, and Thomas actually posted in 20, 2016, Interesting game, never heard of it before. Looking forward to an AI version. If you implement both AIs, you'll have a cool demo. By the way, the colors don't play any role in the game. Right. Uh, he said, this is the first maze game. The original is to have an attract mode where the players bounce around like a pong ball. Still need to implement this. I like your idea because it shows real gameplay. The colors don't affect the game. In the arcade, each bar is drawn using a particular color. All vertical bars are green. Horizontal bars are blue, pink, or red. After posting, it would be... It would be played on the show. The developer came back and started ta started up about the game, and people are asking questions. Says, so, and he said, "I still want to work on this a bit on this game, like respawn the player at random positions, like the arcade, and bounce the players around like a ball during attract mode." I don't have plans to code AI anymore. Sorry. So this won't be an art AI game. Let me plug in the... Yeah, trackball would be a <laughs> next... Not next level. Actually, it would work okay. I think you'd have the disadvantage. I think so. Okay, am I working? Yep. <laughs> you will never get to me. Never, I say. Well, maybe you will. And you ran out of time. I think. Press the button. There we go. Yeah, you have 99 seconds. Ah, I'm trapped. Get out of here. No! Ah! Nine. Ten. What is the... Oh, that's the proximity sound. Oh, oh, no! 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 What? Ah! Oh, God. One point. It's not really a point, though, for, like, when you don't get... You know, like, you know, when you like, successfully sort of evade me? Yeah, I don't get any scores. And... You just get and a, I, you just get a see point. like and I don't we're at the same rate so like you need to like make a mistake basically or you do you need to get trapped yeah yeah or it needs to be something specific that happens this would be better if it was like more of a capture the flag for me like I had to get to your side to or get... yeah there was some factor that was... but he's making a faithful translate translation of uh, a faithful port of the arcade game right yeah definitely so you have to do what. Oh, I mean, I guess you could add things to it um, to make it a different game. Oh, but yeah, it's there's there's not much more than this. There's not more, and not much you can do. <laughs> like that's the thing is, like I don't know. Like basically, you just need to like not. It's like playing goalie in half court. It's just like <laughs> yeah. you just lose. You, you, you as you're, a goalie will never score a point. Yeah, and you're just gonna get shot at the whole time. <laughs> and like the only way you win is like I guess no one's scored, and we've been playing for three hours. <laughs> like that would be the only way you could win. That was a very Canadian reference. That was yes. a very Canadian. Uh, Thomas says, just like the mines in Star Castle Arcade. Oh, oh see, I made a, I made a decision, and it wasn't a good decision. Yeah, you made it the wrong way. Oh, oh see, there you, you go. You know, see, I should score a point 
if I successfully evade you for 99 seconds. But, oh, I see. But, so then... But I don't. But it just resets. Oh, you die completely. Yeah, so, like, I got three uh, on you. Oh, I see. Um. So I guess you just have to try to not... I guess the... the I would switch them. I mean, yes. that's what Every you game should you do. Switch. Like, yeah. you should... Or, or, like, when you... Like, if... Like, like that. Like, if you successfully evade the person, then you switch to, like, the thing. Yeah, you switch turns. And then you see how many points you can get on the other person. Yeah, because, so like... So that makes it a game. That's that what I would do. Because, like, at the moment, that's the only piece that's missing. Yeah. Uh-oh. I have to make... Get you... I have to go through something that kind of cuts you off. Oh, God. No, 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 <laughs> Yeah. Oh! <laughs> See, I got a bit of time there, but not much, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, let's try it the other way. Try it. Oh, yeah. Uh, I am the different, pursuer. It's a different situation. Oh no, you got away on me. You can't get hung up on corners, that's the thing, eh? Oh, oh, oh. Do it, make a mistake. Come on, do it! Do it! Oh, yeah. got a bit of time on me there. Psst! Kitten! Psst! No. Oh. Debating. I had I had some oh. I was thinking about it a lot. And I was you did like, it. I was like, how do we? So there you go. Should we switch to a different game? Yeah. Yeah, because that's pretty much it. Um, Just like the kinda, mines in Star Castle Arcade. It's kind of cool, but that it's the fourth arcade game ever made. Oh yeah, so there you go. So. It's gonna be simple. There's not gonna be much to it. They're still the they're still figuring out the whole. The everything. The everything. Pretty much. The every. Stop. Stop it. Get out of here. Get. So now we're going to play the final game, which is... Going to be amazing. Oh, the sound is the same as... I was wondering what you were referencing. It's like, what? Does it look like it? BitQuest 2. And this is uh, 2019 Work in Progress by Metal Babble. Oh, damn. Okay, cool. Well, maybe if it's a work in progress, maybe that's a, like, a good sign that like... Yeah, it's... It's like brand new, so I'm really, really, really new. This one here? Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, zip. Let me fix that really quick. Bam. Cool. Switching it around. This new setup I'm, I'm into. We can, we can do yeah, this. Yeah, we, we'll adjust to it. We'll get it uh, optimized after a little bit. So, BitQuest 2. Yeah, this guy zips his... Uh, Zips his stuff up. There we go. Usually most people don't zip it up, but he's included the instructions in the zip file. Oh, which that's is nice. Super handy. Okay. BitQuest. BitQuest 2. Metal Babble. Should Very just... cool um, title screen with the little stars going there. And just jump right into it. Hey. You'll get the hang of it pretty damn quick. So uh, Zelda was his inspiration for this game. So he wanted to make an Atari version of Zelda. Um, so this was first posted January 11th, 2019, and this build is from, uh, the 14th, two days ago. Cool. And I actually reported a bug to him, um, on the 13th, where you can wall hack yourself through anything. Really? Okay, that's a bad sign. Yeah. Now there is a, um, oh, let's actually switch. There is a, well, where is it? Game what select? Is, that's weird. I can just what's that? Grab. Oh yeah, you can get as many as you want. I don't know what those are though. Health. Oh good. So hi all. I just wanted to share what's a new this? homebrew. I just finished up BitQuest 2. Oh that's stairs. Oh, so I'm in a dungeon now? Cool. Yeah. 
If you played the original, then Whoa. I would say BitQuest 2 is a logical evolution of that idea. It's much bigger and has more variety. It's an adventure-type game with an overworld and several dungeons with hidden items. Whoa, I just got some, like... Ooh, power up! I got a power up. That's good nice. sign. Okay, it's I sort of inspired by here. the original Zelda, along with games like Venture and Adventure for the 2600. It also incorporates a lot of feedback I received about the original. Um, this is kind of a maze. Not really a maze. I guess the dungeons are a maze. The overworld's not a maze. Hey, now you're at full. Full okay. four. Okay, so I thought I can just... That's your home. Hey, it's good to be home. So that's uh, the first one that I went into. Let's some no notes. Uh, joystick to move, fire button to attack. Uh, the premise is the hero from the first bit quest is captured, so you'll have to rescue him. Whoa, okay. That's that's health. Um, Whoa, okay, buddy. There are four keys hidden throughout the world which will unlock the final dungeon. Did we... So that's your quest, is to find the four keys. Did, did I watch you play a game similar to this? Yes. Um, Big, was it BitQuest 1? No, we never played BitQuest 1. And it's actually, BitQuest 1 doesn't work on uh, digital hardware. Because like there was, the screen flips. There was one that was like really similar to this. And Very you, like, similar. I helped you do some like some maps mapping. and stuff. Yeah. yeah, I don't think this one is quite as big as that oh, one. Okay, let's go down. Okay, let's... Ooh, those guys are moving pretty quick. And the mazes are a lot easier in this. Like the oh wow, nice five. And I think the each dungeon only has like the one thing in it, but I may be wrong. Yeah, it feels that way, honestly. Everything else is empty. I'm all... So there's that. I mean, I'm just gonna like. It's pretty it's good. To... Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh god. Yeah, if you kill things, you can get health. Yeah. I think, I think it's just one thing per per, per dungeon. dungeon. I'm just getting lots of health, which is good. Uh, so you need to find the four keys. You don't have four keys, but you found two health ups. There you go. Sword of Surter? No, it wasn't Sword of Surter. What was it? Ag Anguna. Anguna, that That's was That's what it, it was, This looks yes. like it got an Anguna vibe, for sure. It does. Oh, God. Oh God. You're going to die. <laughs> Watch out, man. One health left. Let's go find those cherries. I think it's up. There you go. There we go. Whew. Uh, use the DPC Plus seal. You need a compatible emulator like Stella. Max hearts can be increased by finding heart containers. And you can continue after a game over. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good. Attached to some screenshots, label instructions, lots the ROM if you're interested. Yeah, I helped him with the... He had a flipping screen on, on the hardware, and he also had a wall hack, which I helped him out with. Uh, additional notes. Uh, so I was talking with Metal Babble, and he sent this on to me. Uh, so the original BitQuest I did in 2017 was one was the first uh, Batari Basic Atari games I worked on. I wanted to make a game that fell big on the Atari hardware, but I ran into limitations due to my planning and limited understanding of the platform. Lots of stack overflows, storage limitations, and such. Recently, I played through the original Zelda on an NES Classic and thought a lot about how they made the dungeons so vast back then. Uh, and came up with an idea how it would be possible to store a lot of information about a dungeon room with just a byte. So in BitQuest 2, each dungeon room is represented by a single byte. Damn. Buddy. Well, that's crazy, eh? The lower four bits describe what doors there are, north, south, east, west. The top four bits describe what combinations of walls there are. This means a dungeon with ten rooms would only take ten bytes. So that is very compact. Oh, Dude. first key. Key number key one. Number one. Key number one. Uh, the overworld is an 8x8 grid drawn non mirrored play fields. The monsters and uh, colors are selected by the Y coordinates on the map. Special items like stars and power ups are stored in a list. For example, map zero in the overworld, screen XY has a cherry, etc. etc. I really tried to squeeze as big a game as possible into it. I loved the Atari when I was a kid. But the games always seem so small and repetitive. Run! It's <laughs> killing you, man. Oh, cherries. Let's get my nose. I got my 
Jelly. Ah! Ah, there's only one option. Something like a big... I wanted something to achieve like that in the Atari. Oh, when the NES came out, it blew me away. Showed me what games could be like. So basically, I wanted to achieve something like that in the Atari. Something like a big game you could get lost in. Lastly, I have to admit, the AA community was so friendly and receptive to me that I was totally encouraged by it. Now, we hear that a lot. What's the AA? Atari, Atari age. age. Yeah. That, that it's just really, really friendly They're just nice community. people. And, and it is. Like, we've encountered that, too. It is flipping a bit there. Yeah, I can see the flip. But it's very oh, quick. Yeah, see. He did say there might be some flipping. So he does have to hunt them down a little bit. I mean, it's just a cherry, but you need one health. Now you need two health. I would get the cherry next. <laughs> yeah, let's cherry this up. And then I have to not, like, not die from like this. Uh, I, a lot of feedback I got from the first bit quest went into the second one. Starting off with the sword, enemies not spawning too close to the edges, less empty rooms, and of course, run away. Get away from them. No, don't get rid of... Run away! You're like on top of them! <laughs> I'm gonna go get that health again. I think so. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna like... I don't wanna die. There we go. Like that. There you Take go. That. Ah, another one. Found the dungeon. Another one. Another one. And this probably has a key, and then you'll have two keys. I would definitely do these. There's the key. I don't even know where to go. Hey, full health again. So, BitQuest 2 continues the story of BitQuest. After rescuing the princess, the warrior is captured by the ruthless v Baron von Darkbit. <laughs> A dark bit. That's awesome. The Bit Princess must now wield the ancient sword. Oh, so you're the princess That's from the cool. first game. That's cool. Princess rescuing princess. That's, that's a good idea. Yay, full health again. Key! Yeah. Two, two out of four. Two out of four. And, and you ran right in the <laughs> Luckily, health is fairly common. It's If you kind of get a bad run at it, though, it's not yeah. so easy. So you like, always want to keep topping it up. You kind of want to be at, like... Like the right end of somebody, right? <laughs> there you go. Bam, good. Uh, however, the Baron has locked his castle with four magic keys, which must be found if the princess is to succeed in her quest. Bit Quest 2 features an even larger world to explore, with many hidden dungeons scattered throughout many lands. The world is broken up into several major areas. South Shore, the forest, the desert, the mountains, and the icy summit. The evil bond, uh, Baron von Darkbit's castle is located on the icy summit behind a maze of ice. Each area has hidden dungeons and monsters that reside there. How to play. Gameplay is simple. Use the joystick to move the princess and press the fire button to attack with the sword. The left difficulty switch controls how strong some monsters are. Oh. Well, we have it on easy. Uh, the title screen, press the fire button to reset to begin a game. Explore the world, find the four hidden keys to unlock the Baron Castle and rescue the Bit Warrior. Watch out for monsters and their attacks. Your health is represented as hearts in the bottom. Each hit will reduce the hearts by one. Hearts can be restored with power-ups, and the maximum amount of hearts can be increased with special items as well. The animation of the sword killing a creature is so good. It, like, sparkles? Yeah, it's very cool. Like, it's awesome. Like, the look of this game is really good. I like the enemies just that are just squares. Not a lot of, um... Very Kirby. Yeah, that's a good point. It does like feel very... Your, your character's got the pink. Got that kind of puffy, crazy look to it. Even, like, the bow as well. And the look of the eyes, the long, vertical eyes. Uh-oh. Oh, look. Another oh, one. Awesome. Dungeon number... Five. Something like that. Oh, yeah. You need keys. <laughs> well, we found where the end is. I must be. This must be the yeah. The sort of like. That's his cat. Oh, this is the ice ice area. Yeah. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. This is where like we need. This is where to... you end the game. And this is where we need to like do a little bit of mapping to like make sure that you know we know. You made it there pretty quick. 
Yeah, but I like... I found the mazes are too bad in this game. I mean, the thing, the issue though is like, now that we're getting to like points where, um, I don't really necessarily know. You wrapped around. That's funny. If you run out of hearts, a beeping will sound. You can take any additional hits. It's game over. On the red game over screen, you can press the joystick button. Dungeons contain some of the strongest monsters, but also important items. Each dungeon is laid out differently. Don't get lost. Power-ups. Health ball. Sometimes enemy will drop one when defeated. Restores one health. Cherries. Completely restores all hearts. Key. There are four hidden keys throughout the world. Get all four to unlock the final dungeon. Heart increases your maximum hearts by one. Um, yep, yep, yep. Created by Brian Shea, who's Brian. Metal Babble. Is this a new one? Holy, I don't know. This is one of the issues, right? Oh, uh, yeah. It's like now that we're... I don't... I think this is new, actually. I think it's new. Because I don't remember these. Scorpions. There's a lot of variety of creatures, too. Yeah, it's quite really good. really nice. Um, like... I'm pretty good with maps, luckily. So, like... Nice. Three out of four. Number three. Oh, God. And there's a hand-drawn map, actually. Is there? That he has included. Thanks, buddy. And I'm pretty sure there's a... Okay. Whoa! <laughs> right in your face. Yeah, that was a tough one. You're out of the dungeon now? Uh, in your overworld again? In yeah, the, I'm back in the, the overworld. Forest. I just have to try to find the other key, which might not, Last dungeon. Which might not be the easiest thing in the world. I don't I remember this. There's a passage. Now, it's possible that I've already been in this one. I don't remember. I no, don't think so. I haven't. <laughs> You're almost done the game. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> And I think, are awesome. And, and I sort of remember Tomato. how to get back. It was the water level, level, wasn't it? Yeah, ice level. Ice. And that was north. Yeah, I believe so. Tomato plants and it's crazy. tulips. Beets. Beets. Beets by Dre. That's right. <laughs> Beets X. Yeah. <laughs> the best headphones. Mm. <laughs> I haven't heard great things about the headphones. They're like, they're fine, but expensive oh, for yeah. what they do. Correct. And they're not really great for like super high end professional use. Oh no! And they also fuck with your like settings. So like they're not studio monitor headphones. Uh, They'll actually, if you listen to like music through them, yeah, you uh you won't get an accurate representation of what the like artist. <laughs> oh no! The bass is just bad. Roof. <laughs> oh right, I have heard that's that. The idea is it's like it's all about bass. That's what everybody Crank wants. The, bass up. the earbuds are good though. Maybe. Are they? Yeah. Oh okay, that's good. Have you seen all the bin uh, everywhere here? Looks like you're just going in circles. It kind now. of feels that way. Maybe this is an empty one. Well, I don't think so because like I don't remember killing these guys and okay. Down, Celeste. Uh, let's just be a little bit more methodical about this. We went all the other directions. Maybe yes. not down. I have I have gone down before, actually. Oh. So this just sends me in a circle, basically. I, oh, oh. Right? Oh, okay. Hey! Okay. Four out of four! Holy fuck, this is like a speed run. It is. Like, you have gotten, like... Never duplicated the dungeon. <laughs> no. Got found it really fast in each one. And now we're going back. And, and now we'll see if I remember where this one It's definitely is. north. And it was through a maze. A little bit of a maze. Oh. Not. <laughs> no. Up. Is it to the right and up? Um. Don't die now. No, I won't. Don't worry. <laughs> Please. I think it was. Makes sense, because this is like... Oh, no. Oh, no. This is the hard part now. Yeah, I've definitely been here before. And I'm looking at the map. Yeah, I've already done this. It's, it's like... North? north and middle. Okay, let's do north. That's right. That's what it north. says on the map. 
Um, this map is not great. Oh, I think I think it was, it's up there. Yes, I think it was this. That makes sense. Yep, and you're going just to the left. Is it good? Yeah. No. no, that's okay. Okay. I was reading. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't pay attention to me. I think we got this. <laughs> see if I can find it. Okay. Now it becomes mazy. Oh, you're going the right way. It's, it's, isn't it? It's up. It's not down there. That's just, is it? Oh, it was, just the it was up. Yeah. You know. ah. Let's do this. Adventure. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay yeah, do dude, have this is totally, maze. this is it's totally up. it. Oh, this is not well drawn. It's okay. This is it, though. I just have to, like, um... I think it was the middle? Oh, God. Yeah, you want to go in with full health for oh, sure. Yeah. Like, do some farming before you go into the last bit. Before you go look at those keys. Oh, yeah. Let, oh, let, me, let me get there first. Yeah. Down. Ah, good. Good. Full health again. Okay, we're good. And I'm pretty sure this is like getting close. It's like top. Yeah, yeah. that's the way. Yeah. Bam. Slow moving ice cubes. Holy cow. <laughs> okay. Compared to that ball rolling game, this is. <laughs> A little bit different. This is... Oh, no. It's okay. It's okay. That's I think it. that's it. Yeah, I gotta get some, get some, get some hearts. Yeah, back out. Man. <laughs> that's a good thing about the resetting. It's also the bad thing. If you accidentally go in a room that's hard, the monster is oh, yes. reset. Okay. Nice. Oh, you're in. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, they just stepped up the difficulty. That's for sure. Get that. No, 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 not there. No, stop it. Don't die. <laughs> You've gone so far. There you go. Okay. Oh, it goes away. Oh, They'll leave the screen and come back. That's weird. I wouldn't mind, like, getting some health. Yep, one extra health. Let's just find out if we can. They're gone. Rip oh, them. there you go. Nah. No. Just throw it at you at the beginning. Keep going around. Oh, oh fuck. don't just run through them. <laughs> I need some health, friends. Yes, you do. There you go. And you lost God. it. And you lost it. Oh, you're down to two. Take it easy. Take it easy. It's not so. Just wait for them to come back. He'll come back. But I get to continue, right? Uh, that's what it says. Oh my god, you got one and now you're down even lower. Uh... But it may kick you out of the dungeon, right? If you continue. There you go. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. No, you've got a farm. No way you're going to defeat him on one health. <laughs> No way! Yeah, yeah it's, not, it's not. I don't think anyone advises that. <laughs> Never face off against the boss with <laughs> one health. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's no cherries in here either. Oh, there you go. Two. No. Two now. Good. Three. Nice. Two more. Okay. We have. Ah! ah! Three again, because you got one more. Okay. Come on, come on. Four, one more. Now the boss has it has a sword, so that is gonna be a different a challenge. A different experience yeah. for sure. So it's not just keeping away from him, it's keeping away from his sword too. 
So this is good practice for this yeah. boss I'm about to. So I would watch a watch for a pattern first with the boss. There you go. Oh wait. Um, I would watch for a pattern how he's he may be only to be able to strike once in a while. Okay. So maybe lure out his sword. Oh no, he's he's crazy. It? Dude! Holy shit, that was like a speed run. It was. What, when oh did we God. start? That was like a... Th it was like half an hour? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I just re I just used all my dungeon memorization <laughs> skills. I was like, I was like, I was like, we gotta save this show. That's amazing. Not the last. Yep. Can I you go in? Oh no, I can't move. Oh, you're stuck with one eye winking? That's right. <laughs> Good job. The good news is... I play some dungeon crawlers in my day. You have. Let's listen to music here. Congratulatory music. This <laughs> <laughs> is the All worth it. <laughs> that was gonna be in your head all day. Thrust congratulates you. Aw, oh, thanks, Thrust. Sword or Surter? Sword of Surter. That was another kind oh, of sort of sort dungeon cool. crawler. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> oh, great stuff. So let's see what we played. Actually, um, I was going to tell you, we're going to be doing a, um, speaking of four-hour shows. No, it wasn't four. Three hours. Three hours. Yeah, it's not too bad. That was going to be four. Yeah, no, hold on. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. Eleven is two. Three. Yeah, three. Eleven. I thought it was going to be four. <laughs> yeah, I was like, holy but no, you God. did a speed. <laughs> I was, I was committed. I was like, there was, I did not stop moving. I was just, I was a sprinter. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, I've been talking with the uh, maintainer of Stella. Yeah. The emulator, and I proposed to him that Zero Page should do a marathon. Yes. To raise money for Stella. Because he has to buy equipment to do, and he has to set aside time. So he's all cool with that. He's on board. So later this year, we're gonna do a marathon. I'm in. And we're gonna we're gonna do like game requests from people. Sounds fun. Um, challenges from people like get this score or get to this level. We're gonna be able to finish off games that we started but never got done. Um, it's gonna be at least twelve hours. And yeah. We're just gonna go hard. I got some ideas. I'll tell you after the show. I oh, some, nice. I got some ideas. Nice. And we have to get some creative ideas to raise money, too. So we'll get donations from developers that we can give away for high, you know, um, donations or whatever. Yeah. So it'll be lots of fun. Oh, that'll be cool. Okay. But, I, but that'll be like late summer, early fall. So you have okay. Some, you have some ideas I'm, for that. Oh, I got so many ideas already. Nice. I don't want to say them on stream. No, no, no. I'll yeah, wait we'll till later because I don't want to kind of like... Um, you put too much work on your shoulders <laughs> with, oh, my, I see. with my insane thoughts. Yeah, that's fine. Let's, what is it? Close, yeah. um, but first, we've got to get through the Atari Awards. Yes. Which, which is, are not something to get through. No. We've got to appreciate, appreciate and relish and enjoy, and enjoy them. Yes. the Atari Awards. That's the end of next month, then. It's coming along. Yeah. We've got all the, um, the nomination committee is handing in their choices so far, doing well. Um, so we're wrapping that up uh, on Sunday, I believe, and then moving on to the next phase, which is the voting. I'm excited. And uh, Al's on top of that for sorting out the voting in the Atari Age forums. So that's all good. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun seeing those votes wow. roll in for those games. So let's go over what we uh, played today. Tower of Rubble. Amazing. Oh, insane. So much fun. I wish we could have played it through actual hardware. Uh, but next next, next, time. next round. Especially next time. with the way that it was put together, too. Like, the jumping and the climbing yeah, and the so everything. Yeah, so clever. And once he does that little ramp up, it'll just be, it'll be perfect. Yeah, it won't start off so hard. Uh, Marble Craze. Huge improvement using the, the trackball. So oh, good. Oh, he says he's working on it now. That's oh. exciting, MK Smith. Awesome. And thanks to Thomas Yentz for making a trackball version of Marble Craze, making it 
playable. What it, an it was not playable with two paddles. What an insanely challenging game. And wow, like, yeah. It was just like, it was the combination of all the factors, right? I think if you had a trackball that was like perfectly calibrated, you know what I mean? Like perfectly yes, synchronized. and perfect, yeah. It would be a different story, but that's, you know, what what's perfect in this world. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. And we played on the easy level, so yeah. if that's too easy, you can crank it up. Um, color gotcha. I mean, it's a good port of an early game. It's it's a game. It's not much to it. You chase yeah. and capture, and then you switch and do it's the same thing. It's a kind of classic kind of game. And then um, the controls are great. The colors are great. Everything's really good about it. I mean, it's just simple. It's one of those games that's fun but short and simple. And um, BitQuest Two. Um, great. I love That's a it. Fun game. I love games like that so much. Clean your trackball. Yeah, I need to open it yeah. up, but I have to take off the feet and oh, it's take just, it right apart. It's just scary. Yeah. Oh, it's, I just saw this hand drawn. It's thing. not super great drawing. It, it, gives of a, the... it gives an idea of it, though, which is cool. Yeah, it gives you a scope of the size. Um, yeah. I'm always into games like that, but I'm always like, um, I've played too many of them, and I also mm. like. You know, I even said it on stream already, like, I used to Dungeon Master, so the level of, like, um, thinking that I put into, like, anything in these realms is so advanced mm. that, like, I, for example, like, one of my favorite games is Baldur's Gate 2, which is, like, unplayable for a lot of people because <laughs> it's advanced yeah. Dungeons and Dragons rules. So, uh, like, you need to learn an entire system in order to play it. So, like, I'm always down for that, but I know that the average player isn't. So my complaint about games like this is, oh, it's not complicated enough, <laughs> but that's because yeah. I play, like, the most complicated versions yes. of RPGs and, like, love them. And have, like, you know, grew up reading those D20 books and stuff. So, like, yeah. I, I, I really have no complaints when it comes to it. I'm just I'm just happy to get, a, a, like, a sword and dungeon type level, type game. I'm always happy to have that. And, like, you could make it as complicated as you want with leveling up and stats and RNG and whatever you want to do. And I'm always going to be down. Um. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was a, a shorter dungeon crawler game or adventure game probably one of the shortest ones yeah but i think you just got really really lucky as well i had there was, there was a level of luck i was not in terms of skill and fighting but no. in terms of hitting the right dungeons and finding them so quick yeah and then i and then i'm also i was able to clear the level pretty quick like i was like i was i was just using all my you know map, <laughs> map. visualization yeah. brain skills but you're right there was a level of luck as well in that one but and i finding it. But I, in those types of games, I always like a power-up of some kind. Like, finding the extra hearts is fine, but getting a yes. longer sword. Yeah, it would be good to have a little having, bit more power-ups in that yeah. game. Because it kind of, you maxed out the hearts immediately, and then there's no there's no sword power-up. There's no harder creatures. Everything right. hit with one. That's right, and it'd be cool to except get... Except for the last guy. Things like a shield to block things. You can You can just make them, like... And the thing that's cool about Zelda is, like, God, like, what an infinite great oh, brilliant yeah. concepts so of much like to it bombs and then having arrows and then having swords yeah. and having like you know you can have like you can can't cross switch. water but then you can get different things like either there's... like add a switching to a different weapon or one-off weapons like in zelda yeah or you areas you them. can't defeat unless you get like a special pair of things that gets right. you to the but as as i said i can like i can go as deep into that stuff and i think i'm not the average gamer yeah. when it comes to that world because i've played the most that was more anguna yes. that was a lot of collecting items and getting this to move that that was really really good what was the one that had two versions and like you had like like a fairy in one of them and, like, oh that was uh dungeon <coughs> dungeon uh what is it dungeon i think it was dungeon it's just dungeon I dungeon, like dungeon, dungeon one, one and dungeon two a uh, dungeon one and dungeon Dun two i loved i loved yep. those games too so like those are my kind of those are my jam that's why you put it on when i'm here cause... that's exactly yeah I, I keep those games for you and the, the the puzzle ones for tanya she loves puzzle games yeah. yeah um yeah so a great group of games today yeah crazy really... and diverse in terms of genres right we totally, had like, all very different like a jumping sort of kind of crawler game and then like this trackball game which i've never really done anything like yeah. that and then and just the a classic atari game. yeah and yeah. then like and then an adventure game to end it off yeah i like when it's diverse so you're not doing the same type of games over and over throughout it. it's like yeah. oh here's another one except when it's like a themed one. Oh, yeah fine. Bye, Atari. If we were like um, more methodical, it would have taken more time to do the <laughs> to do the, the, the last one. 
Yes, it um, would have. If we, if we just sort of. But like, I think we saw everything. I'm sure we did. Yeah, yeah we saw I, all the different areas. Different thing. Killed all the people. Got all the upgrades. Got it, Maybe there was the another guns. upgrade. That's possible that it's I possible. that I. But I didn't need it for sure. Yeah, and it didn't mention any other upgrades. It only mentioned those heart upgrades. So yeah, so you might have got all of them. Yeah. Yeah, and also I love it in how like um in Zelda you can get like half hearts too. Oh yeah, it's not a yeah, it's full not a full one. thing. And then and then when people hit you full full one, you're like, oh. Yes. Yeah. There's just always a lot to. Lot That's to right. Play with. The, some things are are more damaging to you than others. So he, he could add that in, and, and farming seemed a bit easy, maybe. Yeah, definitely. A bit easy to stay alive. A little bit, bit easy. Bit easy. easy yeah. And the and the boss maybe was a bit easy. Definitely. Because you got him pretty end. quick. And I didn't really have to fight him. That you didn't hard. lose your health either I, on the boss i did lose my health i was bit. down to like two i think by the end yeah so maybe a little bit harder on the boss a little bit harder to get to farm well, actually maybe you don't want to make it harder to farm because then you're just farming and then that's annoying yeah that's the thing i mean as i i'm i'll always say with games like that you can add levels you can get new items like i will i will go to the end of the earth with stuff like i love getting gear gears fun getting like a shield and a sword yeah. and like a finding different things like starting with like uh you're punching and then you get a, like i like that i like that feeling of progression great yeah. yeah and you even feel though, like you're getting better even though they're arbitrary there's something fun about that because then you're like it gives you some sort of like these milestones so you yes. don't feel like... i got to the flying boots or whatever right? exactly yeah. um so great group of games next episode uh, i've got two out of two games so far scheduled uh, Alien Pinball, which is a work in progress, and uh, Sync, which is a multi-game. It's more of like a timing, like you have to press things at the right time. Wow, okay. Kind of thing. It's a, what are those called? I don't know. I mean, I call it like a quick time event. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably not that. More, more like a rock band. Type. Ah, like, yeah. Well, they have a game, that genre, where you're like hit things on rhythm games yeah that's what it's called rhythm games okay cool yeah and that's just that's the same as like fruit ninja you have to go at the right time yeah or those that new lightsaber game that vr lightsaber game oh where you're god destroying things like that that's where like games sometimes are ddr that yeah whole, ddr that that's whole, the genre that whole crazy thing yeah rhythm rhythm games um and then next week next wednesday and friday we're into the Atari Award nominated games. Part one, part two, part X. It's great. Maybe we'll get through it in two. Maybe there's a hundred nominated games. Because there are ten categories. Yeah, I haven't got anything going on next Wednesday other than this, so we can just play them until we until we need to. Because who knows? Well, like, simply, I'm, that might be a way do, to do it. If we need to do like just a get power three, through four, it. five hour show, whatever. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure that people online can kind of come in and come out. As, as yeah, because a lot of these we have played. So we're not going to play like to the full extent sure. unless we've never played it before. But I, it but I don't got a time limit, so that's a good it's a it's a good day Perfect. to not have a time limit. Perfect. And of course the Atari Awards on February 23rd live will all be presenting all the people, Darcy, Erlen, myself, Tanya, will all be there. The whole the whole zero. crew. <laughs> all at once. They've never seen each other before. Yeah. <laughs> no, they've all seen each other. <laughs> yeah, I don't know Darcy as well as as he. I say he's the one I've maybe I probably only spent like um, maybe like a few times I've seen like some him. movie nights. Some movie nights, and then he was here at the retro gaming night. But we were both pretty wasted. I was working all day. He did yeah. a twenty four hour game thing. Yeah. So like um, was, not a lot of interaction. No, I Tanya and you, I obviously know yeah. quite well. But so that'll be fun. It'll be fun to hang out with Darcy. Yeah. And uh, yeah, then we have uh, Dan Kitchen's Gold Rush eventually. <laughs> yeah. Don't know when that'll be. He is working on it. Yeah, when he it... started up again. And I guess you'll shut down whatever's going on and just I'll do it. I'll put it like right at the beginning of the episode. Whatever's happening, that's going in. It'll be a big deal. Yeah, it'll be a it'll be a big release. That'll be fun. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us today. Um, M K Smith, ow, M K Smith Gold. No, it's Australia. Yes. It's Australia. Uh, Thrust 26, Wink Dot, uh, Ground Trooper, 
and there was also Gretams in there right. as well. Yeah, Not a lot of chatting fun. today. People yeah, busy. That's okay. I mean, a Wednesday. Oh, thank you for making that awesome game. Thanks, We're looking dude. forward to updates on that. Yeah, and man. Playing the updated Thanks versions. Thanks for working your butt off. Yeah. On these things. And hope you get your um, Harmony uh, cart soon, so you can uh, test it out on real hardware, and um, and I can help you out if you want me to try it out on my hardware in the meantime as well, so you can. Uh, get past the title screen on yeah. your game that's probably um, all that you need to do really. it's actually possible that my atari vox could be the problem too i know it does affect games sometimes oh, yes so i'm gonna try that right after the show and see and we'll see how <laughs> and see how that goes yes yeah, send me a build soon thank you so much and uh, thanks uh thomas for making that uh marble craze hack it's super awesome and all the other um trackball uh hacks as well um and that is it sweet nice, nice fat three, beefy show <laughs> three hours and 15 minute show Some, we try and keep it two hours but sometimes so, maybe mar sometimes may insane fucking marble, marble crazes happen. games happen you have to try to play all the levels and we blab for 45 minutes before we start gaming yeah just because it's like there's it stuff happens. going on yeah so thanks for tuning in and we'll be back on friday at 6 p.m pacific time with Tanya, um, that's uh, nine percent per <laughs> nine p.m. Eastern time, and um, so thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Zero Page Homebrew. Uh, I'll see you Wednesday. Bye bye.